and what is going on out there in Twitch.tv land? This is CEO Taku 2023. We have BB Tag Top 8 happening bright and early for you. This is your wake up call. This is your alarm to make sure you're up. And Adam, I'm Risky Sweep over here as Kraken Atkins. How are you doing? I'm doing great. What's up? What's good? What's Kraken? As you said, my name is Kraken Atkins. Except today I come to you as Iomine Daiki. The only one that can beat me <laughs> is me and EXZO and NY Dante T. Because that's <laughs> who eliminated me from the BB Tag Tournament. But regardless. Yeah, you still got the power of anime spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, I'm ready to calm some Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle Top 8 action. Man, we had a banger of a stream yesterday with the Top Woo! 16 qualifiers, did we? <laughs> no, we absolutely did. The amount of a... Uh uh, we talked about it before on the previous stream, but like a lot of the matches that we're seeing were like previously top eight for CEO Taka 2022 and a bunch of other matches that were just incredible to watch all the way through. So yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And I mean like even like the precedents that have been set uh, for this bracket that we have coming up, right? There are like a lot of it's gonna feel like familiar territory for a lot of these players. So like uh, for instance, this first match is coming up here, Yo Fame Scrub like forty twelve. They were in those exact seats. Two years ago, at CEO 2021, playing, I think, in the, uh, this exact portion of the bracket. It was like, winner's top eight. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So uh, they're going to be having this run back yet again. There's similar stories as we're going to progress on through this bracket. But, man, if you're looking for a high-level Blizzard Cross Tag Battle action, this is the place to be, man. Yeah, you found it. You found it. You struck gold. Yes, yes, yes. I am so excited to get it well underway. I know their buttons are checked. They're ready to go. Uh, I mean, for those that I like, know these two players, they're both, you know, Southern California representatives. Mm -hmm. um, pretty much some of the strongest in our regions. I don't know what they're doing right now. Oh, yeah, they're, they're shaking. <laughs> they're making the idea. like, hey, look, look, we've been here before. We understand what's going on. Let's, uh, like, I'm going to make it a good fight. Going right? to make it a good fight. <laughs> the face off. Yeah. <laughs> I saw. <laughs> Um, and of course, like Saturday at CEO Taku, everyone is in full force. You're in full force with cosplay gear and all that too. So, yes, yes, everybody dressing in their Saturday best and gonna be bringing the best BB tag play that the community has to offer. Yo, face from Monkey Forty Twelve, Ragda Ruby versus the menacing team Adachi Yumi. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the things if like uh, if you've been following BB tag at all, Yumi, so you're pretty much like a like very good assist on most teams. And Adachi, very strong, and together they're peanut butter and jelly. Oh yeah, absolutely. Hilariously, as prolific as this team is, the one knock that there is against it is that like they haven't really won a big tournament before. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They've they've done the distance, but they can't go all the way. Yeah, yeah. So I, you know, it would be cool to see if Monkey is the one that's able to you know change that history. Meanwhile, Yo Fave Scrub on the Ragna Ruby, tried and true for Yo Fave Scrub. Going into the cross combo, like set up. Yeah, it's like waited out the DB and just like get the punish afterwards here. Nice little damage for Yo Fave Scrub. Yeah, pretty much a break point significant damage that happens within the set. It took like 40 seconds to make it happen, so that like really just goes to show you how comfortable these two are around each other and like the tricks they have to pull out to open each other up. Yeah, like, like you you said it before, like they they fought a lot of uh they they fought a lot against each other, and so they're very familiar with one another, and they're just trying to feel the work to see what what they get away with this morning at this particular day. Yeah. Okay. We're getting punished in the back there. Yo Fave Scrub is being an absolute truck, trying to get in by any necessary monkey, trying to play a keepaway game. We'll activate the cross combo with that Ruby movement, getting tons on the landing. Yeah. Dachi from downtown, yeah, activating the Zeo Dine in here, gonna switch, yeah, force out the burst, switch over to Ragna. Good little push block in there to get away and start at the distance here, trying to get on the other side. Reject guard right back at ya. Solid defense. Oh wow, the JC actually whipping, creating a sound situation for Ruby for P. That is a strategy I have not seen Scrub implement that way before. Alright, yeah, into the cross combo we oh, know. No. Oh yeah, dropped out of it and then uh, Monkey has an opportunity here. Goes into the aerial ray, brings down the dodgy, goes into the cross combo to get that extra little bit of damage. Trying to finish it all off the plate, and the plate <laughs> will be finished. Yeah, it's ended up killing for that. If there's one thing that you need to know about Monkey and this team, is that never count them out when it comes to the damage department. Like if it's just a straight up like punish and you don't have a burst available. This team and Monkey will find a way to kill you. <laughs> and then it's got the clip on there with the uh, with the standing B. Goes in there, goes ahead and makes sure the job is finished. Signature on the contract. Get one on the board. It's like there you it were is. Monkey 4012 getting game one. And uh, yeah, if anything, this uh, set I'm also goes happy. to show you the significance of making mistakes against a team like this. Because not only is it that a Dr. Yumi is going to kill you, when they isolate you into a 2v1 situation, mm -hmm. it's like... Unfair. Like, 2v1 yeah. is already unfair, but like, since there are things like screen control and you don't have an assist to help you, even if you have anti zoning tools, it just becomes way too hard to deal with. Like, 
Right, especially at this late in the game where you have like the, like everyone's very familiar and like and comfortable with cross combo, it's like getting everything out of the way. You're just trying to you're, you're just have to deal with double damage, double trouble. Yes. Looks like Monkey is definitely pulling up some momentum at the moment as they get these first opening sequences here on your face scrubs. Push into the corner. Back me up. Sends out the partner assist in there. Go the forward, gets a connection on there, but the, like a counter just at the nick of time. Yeah, very fortunate for Yoko's comes out with a trade, because I think that was a potential happy birthday situation, so narrowly avoiding defeat. Okay, yeah, caught on the tail end of Ragna's attack. They're good the DP, but, however, real Faith Scrub catching in with Ruby, going down, they're going to continue this combo. Very nice. Beautiful, yeah, going to get the corner presence, evening up the life totals just a bit. Not a full uh, confirmation on that combo, though. So. Yikes. Ooh. Yeah, got caught on the other side. And just like they're just they're playing, they're playing pickleball, tossing <laughs> this one to each other. Right. It's like here you be catch. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the Ruby is so low here for Scrub. Oh, that was a beautiful push block by B for Monkey. Unfortunately, did not get the full combo confirmation there. It may have been a spacing issue, but Scrub will be able to capitalize. Back into the corner we go. Nice little 7.5k damage in there. Uh, using the reject guard oh. twice in there to push on. A lot of lot of resources being used for that, and you still, but I like, seem to be like worth it just to get into the corner back and get a little bit of damage. DP actually gets away with your fave scrub. Man, it's just oh that was an amazing find there from your fave scrub. Not letting that be feel rock. We'll be able to get the punish on Adachi. Maintains the 2v2, finds the hit. You need the super. We'll make contact this time. That Adachi is going down for yep. the count. Yeah, with the addition of Ragna in there, just to make sure of that. Going in, like already ducking away, and you're in a cross combo, you're in a sandwich. Yumi in the middle here, activates Residence in the middle, uses the push block to get Ruby away and like save it, save their behind there. Man, if there is one thing about Monkey that has been keeping them within this set and having the dominant lead that they do, it's the defense. Yes, yes, actually, um, like, what, like, it's hard to say, like, especially when you're using that push guard with that reject guard, you're having to use, like, your, like, your, like, multiple levels at that time if you're doing it multiple times, so, actually being able to come back like that and just, like, hold it down on defense, been very strong for Monkey, up two already! Yes, up two, and it's just, like, it's a matter of, for both of these players meeting within, uh, this context, it's, well, kind of, well, I would imagine matchup that neither of them like would really want to play ideally because it, it, it is that matchup factor. They know so much about each other. They have helped each other. You know, uh, Monkey also like before kind of going to this team has been like pretty much one of the more prominent Ruby players, and they've given Scrub plenty of steps of how to refine Ruby. Of course, Scrub being one of the more prominent Ragna, they've given Monkey plenty of steps about, about like how to refine his Ragna. So they know each other inside out. Like. Right, especially like the tendencies, and that's been showing them working for Monkey 4012's favor here. And actually, yeah, getting a hit on the Ragna all the way to the corner we go here. Yeah, you're going to get the like, at least one aerial rave. Go for the setup, set up the partner assist, and you're in a cross combo sandwich. Oh my gosh, good defense here from Scrub thus far, but I was going to say the rest of this is very pivotal. How much they're going to be able to maintain the Ragna. Ruby 4P coming in to save the day. Okay. Oh no, another stop here from Yoko's stop. I've seen a couple of those come out. They're pretty uncharacteristic. And again, when you make mistakes against this team, the capitalization is fatal. Yeah, in a, fact, Monkey could have got a meter if he wanted to. Yeah, extremely <laughs> fatal in this case. You ha only have a standing Ruby, a lot of health, but you still have to deal with the full, nearly full life Monkey. Oh dear, yo, fave scrub. Previous grand finalist of CEO Taku last year, got top eight of CEO 2021, and your champion of Frosty Frosting on the verge of being sent out a loser's bracket within his top eight. All right, holding down like a little bit of snipes. Try to set up a, the Zeo Dine in there. Got sniped out of the way there. Keep it, keep it like a little bit of like a life there in there. Oh, okay, yeah, gonna be activating the resonance, nullifying that cross combo quite a bit thanks to that double side hitting DP. Oh, hold it down there, Opportunity City for your favorite scrub here. Get a possibility, like cancel it out to finish off a dodgy, and we now have a 1v1 game. Yes, absolutely. Opportunity has struck here from Yofab Scrub. A 1v1 situation, one in which, okay. No, no oh, way. Oh, this is the whip on there, and the miss on the throw, but fortunately was able to recover in time. But on the other side we go, Ruby Scythe comes into play. This is massive, okay. And Yofab Scrub gonna extend this combo long talk for at least the rest of this time. Okay, no, it is still there. Yeah, just playing safe, doesn't want to risk getting astral. Yofab Scrub has the life lead. We are just playing some good old fashioned DD tag 1v1, nothing crazy. No partners, just straight up footsies. Yeah, Monkey has plenty of resources to work with. Real Fave Scrub did just get the level two in here, but us getting hit currently in the, are going to be a significant amount of damage. Not enough to bring down, though. You're guessing for game, Scrub. You're guessing for game. EX Snowbird, another one. Three, yeah. 
four on the meter. The and Cass still catches on that with the catch. Like, like basically the the like the the cat like the the baseball play. The outfielder coming in, grabbing the home run catch with that. <laughs> what a play! What a play for Monkey to move on into Heaven's Finals. There it is, Monkey Forty Twelve. I love the way they close that out, man. Because like rather than taking the fight to scrub, they recognize the matchup play of like Ruby. Mm -hmm. His, he's in the corner. He has mobility. He's going to be wanting to like find a way out, potentially teleport. So Monkey was like, rather than going too offensive, I'm going to lock down the skies and the ground. I'll spin four bars to keep him yeah. locked down, and then punish him for trying to escape at the end of the day. Just yeah. precision gameplay. Yeah, uh, basically like like been able to spin that money in there using like use the projectile with the like the 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 the, the, the ex uh, the, like the projectiles to get thrown in there. Use that extra little bit of mobility. Keep locked down in there until they were ready to catch on that one significant moment. And BB Tag is definitely a game of like, oh, you're nearby. Let me catch you with like a little like a slight whiff here. Right. And just get the get the rest of the damage. And that was it for Monkey. Absolutely. We finally got to see on stream the uh, disposal of that uh, Adachi Yumi comp from Monkey, mm -hmm. right? Because yesterday we only saw the Adachi Ruby. Yeah. Um, that was to go up against Elon. But uh, it was, as I said earlier, like from here on out, as far as like the main thing that he uh, would be sticking to, it should be that comp. So. They're, yeah, they're in heaven's finals. Oh, Monkey has to feel good about this. Like we've always known that he's an exceptionally strong player, but like he hasn't really been able to get that W with the right. BB Tag major setting. So right, definitely like has put in the work in there, but like maybe not in the tournament setting at that mm -hmm. point. So like coming out here and see you talk of twenty twenty three, especially at this stage of BB Tag, feeling pretty good. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I know for uh, this match that we have coming up, we're going from coast to coast. So that was a mm -hmm. West Coast, SoCal versus SoCal matchup to happen. Uh, this next one is going to be East Coast centric because I believe oh. it should be Tectal East Side versus Chop Suey. Okay, yeah, Tectal the East Side. No stranger to a lot of the BB tag, especially in the Southeast, for sure, on that uh, part of the. I believe uh, part of like uh, done, uh, done a lot of stuff with data in there, and um, like have like e even since the beginning, like be like pre-pandemic and all that was like I saw technical at a lot of like these top eights. So yeah, absolutely. He's just such a fundamentally sound player. Like uh, just when it comes to any game that he approaches, like as we were saying yesterday, Tech has been doing this uh, anime game thing for quite some time, mm -hmm. um, and even like beyond BB Tag, like I I don't think he's super practiced in this game. In Persona, I think he practiced a little bit, but like. You know, when I saw him make uh, top three at Persona 4 Arena Ultimax last year uh, for CEO Taku with Risei, which is a character that's oh, like... Oh, yeah, well, what? Yeah, okay. a character that's not very prominent in current Persona meta. I was like, dude, he's him. Like, yeah. he's, just, he's still him. And so seeing him in winner side of top eight for this tournament that has been super stacked, and I know he does not practice game much at all. Right. It's just, like, definitely a merit to, like, his skill. Yeah, going with like looks to be uh, the, like the Ruby Yumi comp on there. Uh, uh, Chop Suey with the tried and true Izayoi Chie team that has worked so well in their favor. Yeah, Risky Sweep, I'm going to tell you right now, I've been doing some talk with some BB type players, and a lot of them feel like Chop Suey has a very solid shot of taking this entire thing. I would like to think so. I, we were talking about a little bit yesterday the mobility option that Izayoi has, especially with like the lockdown and kind of like like pushing back the power of Chie. Mm -hmm. Like it, like we were talking about last, like yesterday, like the like it just takes a mere moment to get to that level three charge and down you will go at that point and um and like chop suey definitely has like a lot of those setups in there to like get you switch up and get you mixed up in your game in a game that is nothing but mix-ups yeah absolutely i mean chop is just like a one-of-a-kind player like he really kind of embodies bb tag in quite a few different ways you know he has this easy chia comp probably the only person that plays this comp but has been able to refine it in so many ways to make it his own to the point where he has multiple win conditions at play so as you were saying there is the chia power charge you know if you make a mistake you could just die to like a tod situation yeah. <laughs> uh the mobility with easy oi but then he also has high low and left right mix with easy oi yeah and the strategy that we saw yesterday is like one that i said that i see from chop three often where like he'll just slow you down for like the first two games and then when he's on that like, game three or like you know, next game win situation, then he pulls out all the tricks. Yeah, he like, like he, he takes out like, oh, the battery's dead, puts in the new double A batteries, and off Chop Suey goes. <laughs> yeah, so. it's super powerful for a tournament format, man. But yeah, I mean, if Tectal's able to make it this far, I gotta imagine like, no matter what comes his way at this point, he will be prepared and be able to outfund it, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, letting the intros rock here. The other side of Heaven Semi Finals, Tectal East Side versus Chop Suey. Let's go. Oh, and escape from crossing fate is what we're told every day. Check the inside chop to lead. Start off with the Yumi 5P. And we were talking a little bit about Izayoi's mobility options, but Chie is also quite a fast mover as well. 
Oh yeah, she just has great overall movement speed. Uh, that JC that she has is like really good at covering the skies and kind of creating a no-fly zone for pesky air character type UV. A little bit of a happy birthday caught on the DP and near suck in a cross combo. You gotta play a kiss in the follow-up in there and yeah, switches over to Yumi to continue enforcing the burst out from Chop Suey. Okay, you Chop Suey immediately on the aggression. Trying to get any type of uh, meaningful hit here. Check the inside. Playing patient, but there it is. Title part behind you, not the personnel. Oh yeah, push it away here. Good force on that. Yeah, the aerial rave. I love that as an option for mobility, basically. Like to stop, like realizing, like, oh, like, is he always about to come on, like, come on down? I'm gonna stop you and force you to block at that point. Yes, man. Chop has been relentless right now. Trying to go for some very interesting confirmations. Unfortunately, did not have the proper timing. But that Yumi has a little down quite a bit. Technically, get her out of there. There it is. Right, a little, yeah, push back, like stop anything going on, and the big scythe of Ruby coming down on Izayoi. Ooh, just gets hit by the 5A meeting, so Tekko will be able to run away with a bit of a life lead, and most importantly, stall time, so Yumi can heal more health, and will be more encouraged to call her as an assist. There she is right there. Yep, goes in, oh, and catches, yeah, the, like, nice, nice job on that, going to get the follow in and just going to get further damage on GA here. Yeah, my boy Chopsui kind of in jail in the corner right now, really needs to find a way out of here, because he could definitely lose the game from this situation. Yeah. Techno knows it, you see them on their approach, Chop finally finds a way out with that DP. Yeah, it does get away with the DP, a very dangerous situation, especially, like, when that, like, encounter, especially when the other player is on there, but fortunately, like, waited out the time there to get on there, so, like, side switching on here, going through the cross combo. Yeah, change it out like Doc. Like, see the burst come out the play and gets full damage on that good opportunity to get a lot of damage here. Uh, Force the DP out, but still, partner assist comes out the play. We got it down, Yumi. So smart of an approach here that Chop Sui has. He just kind of goes to show, uh, the thing I was saying earlier, that Chop has a mirror to win condition. He's trying to take down that Yumi, matter of pure offense, but now the Chie is down. We're at the 1v1 situation here. Resonance has to pop for Tekto, not for Chop. Yeah, going in, finish off, tried and true. Resonance finish for you, and it's going to be Techno. Techno going on first in the, uh, first in there, and it was like a lot of back and forth actually there, like going on, and especially uh, they, uh, dealing out like baiting out the burst to get the other to get the uh, partner as they're like jumping in on that it was like ready for those situations. Yeah, it was really interesting. We saw them play in uh, multiple parts of the screen as well. There was some yeah. like mid screen game, and then we ended up on the right side of the screen with Techno having a really dominant force of repression. It felt like the chop was going to lose the game right then, right there. But the chop finds way out with the DP, he gets some aggression of their own going on. In the Left side of the screen, get that Yumi down. Techto immediately responds. 1v1 situation. These two are, man, like neck and neck. <laughs> yeah, a lot of that ended up being like, just like, uh, like the reaction, trying to send out the, uh, like send out a partner assist, or trying to send out the bur like the burst in there to switch out, and like just Techto ready for that situation. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Time finding the area. Yeah, I think that's what's gonna be chopped to his goal here. It's just like. Um, establish a better control of uh, not allowing for Tech to get in so easily. It's, you know, easier said than done, though, when you have Yumi support kind of messing you up, so. Oh, yeah, like, nice little side switch on the other side, getting ca caught in the low here. Have a, like, nice little, little bit of damage here again. Gets a throw. All right, yeah, timely burst with the top two. He has to bring in the girl, the easy way. Block out of JC, didn't try to challenge afterwards. Yeah, keep it in the air, throwing out the projectiles just to avoid Yumi's. Oh man, yeah, so one thing about this is like when Chop Suey has the easy way point, Chi's assists aren't bad, but they are pretty specific. Like she has like pretty much anti-air assist to 4P, 5P is like a lariat, but it doesn't cover much space. Then she has that dragon kick that comes to Sky. Right, right. I've noticed that Techno has just been taking it slow. He's like, yeah, I just like won't jump and I won't come in range of Chi 5P. What will you do? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does get a little bit of a clip on the meteors, but nothing much, much afterwards. And like, unfortunately it is Techno Eastside going to switch it up into the corner with the cross combo. Massive opportunity here for Tectal. Okay, oh, just gets the cross under. Yeah, hits the partner, but not the main character, so just gets a little bit of extra damage here. Going back into neutral territory here. Man, a no-fly zone being established here for Chop. They're trying to take to the sky, they're trying to Sonic Saber, they're yeah, trying to teleport. Still going on, too, just like, no, no, you stay here, you stay here. This is where you belong. <laughs> okay, that 6P being utilized to create the force damage situation, that's something that the Techno, or Chop can do. But Techno finds a way out, man. He is just on top of his game right now. Yeah, sends it out there. Actually was able to avoid most of the projectiles in there. Tried to go in for like a for a like long range throw <laughs> at that point, but did get missed and is going to get punished for it. Get the follow up with GA here. And it's a lockdown. JC for more plus frames. Meters for even more and more plus frames. No, I'm I'm getting in and I'm staying in. You can spend all your meter on push box, man. Oh my god. 
Yeah, that's one of those tried and true things. Like, you push block, I'm gonna send out Meteors. You still have to block this. Gets in with the DP. Like, uh, like a little bit of health is all you have left on both sides here. Throwing out the Meteors in here. Switches over to Izayo and gets a sneaky side switch. Oh my gosh. I, missed I hadn't even noticed why uh, Chop was able to throw out so many Meteors. They were under 80 seconds for the Rampage time. Getting past through the generator bar. And there it is. Chop will be able to tie it up 1-1. Yeah, that Rampage time situation, in my honest opinion, was the thing that allowed for uh, Chop to really change the tides of that matchup. Because right. when you're in Rampage time and you're eating that pass through generating bar, obviously it's good for like a majority of characters, but Chie really, really benefits from that. Yeah, absolutely. Especially like, you know, like having to spin like the like the two bars, like going in there and just throwing out, and it goes to its full full range, especially like being able to kind of push back and like, it's like, where can I take control of this situation? It's like, I want to be in control. I, I know you're my, the opponent's in there. I can't get out of the air. Like I got stuck. I'm stuck in this corner. Let me finally like get the rampage time. Let me get the extra, extra bars in there. Let me get the push out of the way and like kind of get that breathing room happen. Yeah, absolutely. And we saw that twofold, right? Of just being able to combine uh, those two benefits of Rampage Time of just like that entire like game too. Tecto was on Chop relentlessly. Yeah. Anytime he go No fly zone. Absolute no fly zone by any means necessary. You go up, I match you, I show you back down to the ground. But like with the Rampage Time being able to push Tecto away and activate meteors, it's a power statement of just like finally I have the resources to get you off of me. <laughs> like Yeah, and that was um um I think like what we're gonna have to see is like probably like try to like um Tactical's been taking it like slow and easy just to make like kind of make sure they can get Chop Suey and like like get them in the situation where they want. And um Tactical's gonna have to play a little bit faster to avoid that because realizing that, like, oh, these are the resources that they're gonna have available and it's gonna be much harder to finish out after that point part where rampage time comes into play. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I, I think that's gonna be the game plan for Tech to play here. It, it's just a matter of um it, you know, they're getting the offensive sequences going. They're definitely putting Chop under pressure, and in my opinion, based off of Chop's gameplay with the DPs and a post lockdown scene. Chop feels the pressure. It's just a matter of, like, you know, the time limit that happens at the top of the screen. It's not the actual time limit for uh, Tecto. It's not right. 180 seconds that he has. He has 100 seconds. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's just, like, bringing it down. It's like, okay, I need to make sure that this goes swiftly in my favor. Right. Here we go. Right next match, one and one. Tecto East Side versus Chop Suey. Ooh, okay, just immediately something out of the sky here. Chop, sticking with the plan. Yeah, into the cross combo situation here. Gonna have to deal with it, like, on the back and forth, and get the surprise overhead. 5C, baby, bing bong, into the corner. Yeah, that's, uh, it's been really interesting seeing the way that Chop plays the Chie game, because they haven't really been doing, like, mix-ups with their approach, per se. They're just, like, plus a billion and waiting for Tech to, like, push block reverse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, definitely. And it's been working out quite a will, uh, quite a bit, because you are setting up that situation to where it was like, oh, I'm in my condition to get the push out in there. And, uh, like, getting that damage back in the corner. You go. Try to go for the grab. Good tech from Tech to East side here. Still have to deal with the meteors. And oh. surprise, look at that overhead. You can barely see it with the meteors kind of covering the hitbox there. Chop is just on a massive roll at the moment. This is a, like, aspect of the match we haven't seen at all. Tecto is going down early. Yeah, catches down with the low, just like finishes out nice and swiftly here. Got, like stuck with into resonance with Ruby on that side. Has plenty of health. No, hold on. As soon as I said that, that bar is draining. Yeah, this at this point, this is a really tall mountain for Tecto East Side. So it's at the time. Oh my god, there it is. That top really special of like, hey, by the way, I have left right to the corner as well. But Tecto was ready for it and blocked it somehow. Yeah, was actually able to like mitigate the damage quite a bit there. Uh, is it, like, the slow projectiles in there happen to like block all three of them, but then finally gets in to finish it off a nearly full, not quite a perfect, but very close. There's, it's very rarely you see a perfect in BB tag, but that was pretty good for Chop Suey. Oh yeah, it's about as close to a perfect as you can get in a game like this uh, without you know getting some type of TOD or just having a magnificent control. But yeah, yeah the, uh, I mean even with that, the, in terms of magnificent control, Chop Suey had that in that game, man. It was just like. A a really kind of return of form from him to like really get his offense pressure started. Tecto did not really have an opportunity to do much at all. Yeah, and you were talking about it previously, like was like yeah, like just turning up the game, like turning that volume to 11 mm -hmm. in there, and like kind of getting in it. And Chop Suey is like, let's just turn it up a little bit early. It was working pretty good in Rampage mode. What if I, what if I get this started now? Yeah, rightfully so. Chi is an extremely frustrating character when it comes to her offense game, man. Like JC working the way that it does. The persona displacement, and she can act afterwards. Like I don't want to block that either. Yeah, and especially being able. 
able to get in. Like even like after you block all that, you get hit with the universal overhead at the right. very end there. <laughs> it is uh, it is very frustrating at that point, and you got a little bit of time to breathe and continue the pressure. Catch it a little bit on the overhead. It chops through, he gives it, but unfortunately, it is going to be Techno East side going to get the cross combo, forcing the burst out of there. But that's what that's what Techno wanted, getting the Chia out of the way as soon as possible. Yeah. Okay. This is solid momentum for Techno. Builds up that assist gauge into the corner. Trying to be anything that chops through, but the defense is much too strong. Calls on defensive for P. That was great. Notice Techno's tendency to go to the air and just call to the defensive anti air assist in order to check. All right, catching on there. You're back into the corner. We go here, kind of keeping the distance a little bit. However, going to activate the cross combo on there. A little bit of push the guard getting there. Gets the burst out of the way. Switch it out for Izayoi. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, we see the slow gameplay kind of coming into the fold yet again. And we're comboing off the screen. Where is she going? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Air, Air Izayoi has a flight path we do not know about. <laughs> All right, yeah, catches on it on the way down. Going to be a big opportunity here. Actually gets the reset, too. Forcing out the bur bur burst, but no. No, got caught on there with the GA assist in there. We're going all the way in the corner. Ruby going to get that damage in there. Sets it up. Catches it once again with the low. Man, this has been an extremely tough sequence from top. Keeping it all burst safe and just keep the tech under constant pressure. You know, Izuya is not the most damaging character in the world, but the thing that uh, makes her so threatening is that she's able to, you know, open you up and then stick on you and uh, just apply mix-up after mix-up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially like if, like backed off with the powerful assist of Chie in there, being able to like kind of bring in the pressure and like where it counts on there. And okay, now she's fired up. Yumi fighting for her life. Gets clipped Ooh. low. That should be it. Chop. Zooey. And you can see attack like Tech like shaking the head is like, man, I got hit by that low. <laughs> <laughs> you can like I can understand the frustration on that, but what a match for Chop like Chop Zooey just to show the power there. Yeah, absolutely. We got to see so many folds of his gameplay kind of uh, unfold before our very eyes, right? Just um the the promise that he has as like a BB type player overall to be able to make those in the moment adaptations because Tech in the first two games, even though it was one one, mm -hmm. I felt like it was very uh much so Techno just dictated the pace. Right, right. Especially early on, that first game, and like into the second game a little bit until like uh until Rampage time, about 80, 80 seconds like oh, like were left in there, was able to like kind of it's like you just uh Chapsu just turned it on. Yeah, yeah. It's exactly what I want to see. And I think it's the reason why, like as I said before that match started, it's like a lot of people looked at the bracket and just like, yeah, just based off the way that this has worked out here, Chop really has a good opportunity to take this. You know, he's gonna be uh, meeting Monkey 412 in the Heavens Finals. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, Monkey Obviously, fantastic player, ta tactical player, so they're going to have an idea of how to uh, fight Chop. But Chop's just on a roll. He's been on the grind. This might be his time. Yeah, this is a very, in a very good position for that to happen here. But still, there are quite a few more matches to go yeah. until we get there. And we got like, like who do we have coming up next? We got uh, we got Zero Shadow Blood versus Elon New 13. Uh, yeah, that is a match that is coming up. One of them may be busy because it looks like what's actually been queued up. Uh, oh, okay. maybe Razo versus Ronan Healy. Okay, okay, yeah, that's uh, that would that would make sense, and they're like kind of switching up there. But like in the meantime, yeah, Razo versus Razo, no stranger to top eights at mm -hmm. all. She's been uh, she's been making the work both in multiple games, but especially in BB Tag from like time time immemorial of this game. Right, yeah, Razo, one of the legacy players, one of the goats really of the game when it comes to the NA scene. Uh, so it's just fantastic to see her uh, still doing work to this day in 2023. This is a really interesting matchup because if I'm not mistaken, they're locals to the area. Like, yeah, they're, they're both like Florida FGC players. Oh, so okay. I've seen them play at like Juicy Monthlies before. And so for them to be meeting with him, like CEO Taki Top 8, is uh, really funny. They're yeah, no, no, like, it's, with each other. it goes to like, this has been like the, like the meetup of it's like, it's like, oh, this is a familiar territory. Like, even in Top 16, like, definitely like, like seeing like Nanashi and Hashimo have to play and right. all that. Just like, it's just uh, like it's like eventually you have to meet your friends and you have to fight them to the death. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I, I, so I got to imagine because that is the case. Um, so Razo's on this Yang Carmine comp, right? I was mentioning earlier that uh, some of the escape options out of the unblockable setup are pretty limited, but Blitz comp characters have pretty good uh, escape routes because they have a parry DP. Right. So uh, Razo has had to have uh, figured out some counterplay for that situation generally, but also against Blitz tank. Uh, between <laughs> matches that they've had with Ronin, like I I'm sure she's going to be capable of uh, outplaying that. Right, right, and especially like the very, the very pink Blitz tank and Waldstein team there. Yes. <laughs>
That's another feather in Rosal's cap as it pertains to this matchup. You know, doesn't have to, like, uh, really stress about, I've never fought this team before. Um, how do I fight Ronan Healy? She knows. It's just a matter of executing it. Yeah, exactly. But in the beginning, Ronan Healy getting the first hit in there. Going to get the follow-up here. Very nice little start there. And Ronan Healy also, like, I believe got second in Marvel vs. Capcom yesterday. So, like, running hot on a, on a, on a, on a runner's high here. Yeah, just an extremely talented player when it comes to these team fighting games is Ronan Healy. Look at really thought within the opening uh, sequences of this match. May build the four bars, not quite. Oh, that was so clutch! Instead of routing into a combo, just routed straight to the parry to catch the Carmine. Yeah, so it's like kept in the corner there, kind of getting the push on there on the other side. Yeah, get the reject guard in there. Gets hit <laughs> with the with the blades from, from Carmine here. Going to get a nice little chunk of damage in there. Gets his follows up. Man, I know the crowd is awake after hearing that uh, let's take armor on those loud speakers out there. Oh, wait, no, no, that is, that is definitely alarm. Finally, I finish it off just to heal Carmine a little bit here. So, like, jumps back and gets another hit here. Man, Razo making up for lost ground with this uh, offense that they've been able to implement on walls. And most importantly, always ending with that uh, A auto combo in order to get more health on Carmine's end completely taking the lead within the set. Yeah, one thing about it, like this, uh, this is a big body team. The, these two have a lot of health to deal with and you've got to play a little bit more, a uh, little bit more patient to make sure you can keep up with the pace. Right. Okay, Ronan is responding accordingly with the super. Uh, gonna be able to find that reversal. Pretty tough to make this ground. Gonna try to make it happen. 2B does not make contact. Yeah, it do does get a little bit of clip on the other side, but no conversion, unfortunately. Gonna keep it back in there. Activated residence for Ronan Healy. So to go back in there. Yeah, get the follow-up, trying to use the long arm of the law. Oh, she burns. I think you're committed to dying yeah. here, Kaya. <laughs> yeah, when you have that little pause in there, you're safe for him for a few moments. And like definitely act with the reaction from Ronan Healy just goes right into super. That's how you end it. It always has to happen to every BB type player yeah. at least once in a tournament match. You're fighting Yang, you're like, I gotta lock her down, I gotta go in, and you forget that that health bar is red and she's angry. Yeah, <laughs> and you have, and then like a familiar theme, it's like the wrestling theme comes out, the Titan Tron comes up, it's Yang, my bird, coming in. <laughs> my god! Oh, oh my this god. is on the parry. What? Of course. The, what? <laughs> okay, I. Yeah, I, I missed that completely on there. Just get the follow up into Waldstein. Into the corner we go. Razo feeling pretty good right now. Okay, yeah. Clutch on Ronan to find a safe burst point in order to get the Blitz take in. Oh, Blitz takes her pot so fast. Almost allowing for a full conversion side swap from Razo. Yeah, especially with the, the team that uh, Razo is playing. Like, she, like with the. Uh, Carmine and Yang, basically, if you're able, like, if you were able to jump C, <laughs> jump C with Carmine, you were hitting Blitz Tank. Right? <laughs> oh, man, excellent stuff. Also, just had full control over this matchup thus far. Just not allowing for him to move. You know, the mobility factor, I mean, you're, you're playing a freaking tank. <laughs> yeah. And Waldstein, it's, it's pretty limited. So, uh, Razo is using uh, that to her advantage just really overwhelm Ronan. Okay, yeah, the jump in was in Razo's favor, being able to push all the way in the court. Still has Residence on hand, does get a little bit of clip. Finally activates Residence here, but you're having to deal with both the characters at the same time. Activates the cross combo. Oh yes, yeah, you get a little bit of Firecracker on there. Get the push back, tries to get the follow up, and they're expected like the, the, the rush in to tackle from Yang in there, but Razo held off in there and got the damage in after, right afterwards. Very nice, quick round from Razo. Absolutely, Razo's looking extremely dominant here, extremely ready to go. Now, something I'm, oh no, they didn't do it. So, Ronin actually has two teams. Um, okay. They play this wild blitz tank, but they actually pulled it out of Evo. They play Akatsuki blitz tank as well. I oh. didn't know. <laughs> and he like almost was able to beat Kota with it from Japan. And oh, wow, like, okay. If there was gonna be any time to pull that out, I actually think it would be for this matchup, because then you have not one, but two characters that could potentially escape this situation right here. Yeah, there it is. Like, yeah, the partner assist in there. You're encased in Magicite. Going to the Narsh Cave here. Get the follow up. All the way down we go. Oh, this is so rough, man. Again with it. Oh, finds the burst, but Razo still able to find the pickup. Is she going to be able to set it up yet again? It's very possible. Just goes in, just goes like just for the safe health bed in there. Try to, like, got the parry on it afterwards. Oh, it just went for it. Like, Ronan tried to go for the unblockable jump C in there and just goes for the, the super on price, but firing! Re re required with the fire laser just to get out of the situation there. Absolutely. Even if things up 5A and here of all things, we'll be going in Razzle's favor. Three parts on deck, so they could try to kill on this Waldstein if she so chooses. Seems like bunches of punches are coming your way. One for the road. Yeah.
down and you're back to Blitz Tank in there. Like Resonance, he does a level one, unfortunately, at that. So you're gonna have to work with what you deal with. It can happen, gets to the parry in a good condition into the corner oh. there, but does get clipped on it. Yeah, it might have been just a mistimed situation there. And Razo will be able to get to three over victory over Ronan Hilly and push on within this loser's bracket. Yeah, like good showing from Razo. Ronan, like Ronan, like we said before, like got second in Marvel, like been a, been a master of these th these tag games. But Razo felt extremely comfortable in that game. Yeah, and it was just like a similar thing with the Ophave Scrub Monkey 2012 matchup, really right? Of just like, um, you know, regionally, these two just know each other, right? right, that's, right. That, that's a big aspect of Ronan Healy's game plan when it comes to playing in tournaments like this. It's like, he's not an online tournament player at all. He right. really only kind of plays within his local scene or if he travels out and beats tag there. He's like, yeah, sure, I'll enter. And um, you're, like, not going to be prepared for his game plan. <laughs> like, yeah, know. you know, the wall blitz take. No one really plays that. But Razo, you know, comes to these juicy monthlies, you know, they have played plenty of sets against each other, so Razo definitely knows how to fight a player like Ronan. Yeah, and definitely, like, being able to fight, like, those different teams and be able to, like, those unusual play styles in there, like, really helps in the favor, especially, like, when you got time and time again going into, like, potentially juicy finals uh, for those, for, for the finals there. Yeah. So. Absolutely. So, yeah, congratulations to Razo. Now, uh, the slot set that we have coming up here uh, within our round one for top eight is, you know, the theme has been uh, these regional, you know, we had the, the Soul Cal match. We had the uh, Northeast or the East Coast match. Then we had the South Florida match. This one is, is, is not a regional thing at yeah, all. Yeah, no, 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 no. We, uh, <laughs> we, we, you know, we, like, you know, normally if we, we didn't set the storyline completely, like we had to get a couple random elements here. So. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it will be uh, Northern California versus South Korea. We have Zero Shadow Blood versus is Elon. And if that sounds like a familiar set, it should, because yes. uh, they played this year at Frosty South Things, and they played in grand finals of CEO 2021. Yes, yes, yeah, like they they have definitely like Elon no like the, the they're no strangers to each other on this, but it's uh it's maybe been a bit a little bit like like definitely time has passed on that so and um Elon was uh like you want to talk about why like the cosplay that you're in like why that was in because <laughs> like I know that was part of the deal in some way yeah so. I should kind of elaborate like um why am I in a um, I don't mean a Jackie cosplay how is Elon here why is <laughs> Elon in a Pecker cosplay why is Yo Fitch Grub in a cosplay okay so essentially um. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I didn't realize. I was like, oh, oh, that's what's going on. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a lot of wacky stuff going on, but it's all for good reason. Trust me, chat. I can explain. Okay. Uh, so, Elon needed a little bit of help getting here to CEO. And I mean, like, Elon has been such a pivotal part of CEO, not only just for BB Tag, yes. for uh, JoJo's, for like every single game that they play, they're a menace. And so, um, I wanted to help Elon get out here. So, my organization, Plus Swing GG, we organized a, f a fundraiser uh, in order to get Elon out here. We were able to raise over $2,000. Um, and it was uh, thanks to the community efforts. Um, now, there was quite a few ways that we were able to do so. Um, we did a uh, fundraising event. Event called a Kumite where Yo Fave Scrub and Monkey 412 just basically like played like I think six straight hours of BB tag. <laughs> <laughs> and for every uh, like first to five set uh, they lost, they had to donate five dollars. Okay. Um, if their opponent oh, yeah. lost, they had to donate five dollars. And you know, the community really came around that we were able to build it up. But uh, there was a stipulation of if we raised the money before September, me and Scrub would have to like enter the cosplay contest. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, that explains like I saw your fave scrub in the, in the cosplay as well. It's like it's like is like it's just everyone into the cosplay contest or is like what, what was was there a backstory there for that? So, yeah, nice. that, that's that's essentially what's going on. You know, usually it's just Hashimo that pulled up for the cosplays, but no, me and Scrub joined and then Elon um, message Grubba was just like, hey, you know, since this fundraiser is for me and you guys are doing this, I feel like I have to do the cosplay too. So we have Elon pulling up in full Usada Pekora fashion, <laughs> bun bun chat, ready to go with the Hilda V13 locked in up against Zero Shadow Blood. Uh, Pekka, wonderful <laughs> with that. That's amazing. And I'm glad, I'm glad, like, Elon especially is getting to the spirit as well, so. Yes, but, yes. but it, it may look like fun and games, but uh, beneath that mask and behind those glasses, it's full serious mode for Elon. Uh, Zero Shot of Blood did take it last time that these two fought at Frosties. So I think that's been something that Elon has been looking for the run back. They're finding the chance right here, right now. Okay, and especially like no stranger to the teams that th these two are playing. Zero Shadow Blood with the Susano, Yumi. We got a uh, Hilda New on Elon's side. The power of New compels you. Yes. Woo. 
Here we go. I don't know. I feel, I feel like we're either in for the long haul, a lot's gonna get that slow paced gameplay started, or we just may be in for a murder experience. We're trying to go to capitalize on these mistakes. Okay, uh, early on, kind of keeping the distance in there, getting the clips on there. Where Cal's in there, but New is the one, first one to get the first major amount of uh, amount of damage there. Alright, lockdown with the 6 to 6 p. Oh, what a clutch air air of all things from New against Yumi! <laughs> That's pretty risky to do, yeah, honestly. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Okay, getting the follow up, and they're in those like this seems to like be on play the long, long range game. Do not let Susano especially get in. Yeah, one thing I immediately want to call out as far as this match is pertains. So, one thing about Elon's team that is very, very good is that both of his characters have full screen capabilities on normal. Right, what that means is that if you're in a full screen neutral game against Elon, you can't really call a just freezing, they're just gonna get punished with click of buttons. Right, you're gonna have to like kind of move in. And uh, Zero Shadow Blood has there's options of mobility in there to kind of get closer in. There, Susano has like like the car movement in there to go in forward. Yumi has aerial rave in there. However, so far this is working exceptionally for Elon. Yeah, absolutely. So like with, with Elon having that type of playstyle available, you see the Yumi goes down. Uh, Zero Shadow Blood only has level two resonance. They haven't been in many partner actions at all. Um, Zero Shadow Blood neutral can be pretty assist reliant. You know, he wants to get it with Susano and use those uh, Yumi six P's to supplement the offense. He wants to fly with Yumi and call Susano six P as a bullet on the ground in order to lock you down. He can't do any of that. He almost Perfected because of uh, Elon's yeah. overall control. Yeah, like I like, like we're, we're taking over the tradition continually from CEO Talk of 2022. Heaven and Hell brackets. That felt like a hell bracket for sure. 100. percent Yes, absolutely. And it seems like Zero Shadow Blood uh, recognizes how dominant that was. Recognizes the issues at play with uh, the Susano Yumi comp, and they're actually going to commit to the gang Carmine. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so that is uh, interesting. Like again, we saw this team have like happen. Like Ro Razo has been rocking that team for ages and ages. And this is one of those teams that, from the very beginning of the game, was just cranking out damage and doing and being very effective. So uh, understandable on the switch over. But that is a uh, that's like uh, you do have a little bit of movement options with Yang there, be able to like kind of switch over here. But you're still having to deal with the long range of Elon. Yeah. The one thing about this is, like, I, I just personally have no idea how practiced Zero Shadow Blood is on this team. Like, I, I've seen them pull it out the tournament before. You know, this is, is a completely unknown, but usually it's that Susano Yumi that they really made their name with is what they usually spin for. And they have to be on top of their game if they're going to be able to take out Elon. Although, like, the top is the common, Elon has a game plan for it. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yeah, one thing of like kind of going in there through, uh, definitely been able to like try to like what you were saying earlier, like being able to throw like you're able to throw up like Eldest DP long range and keep it safe with New in the background in there, throwing it out multiple times in there. Zero Shadow Flood finally have a chance in there and gets bursted for the trouble. Oh my gosh, Elon going uncharacteristically super offensive with the 5 C DP old school 2018 strats. Zero Shadow Blood not falling for it though. Yep. Okay, gets out of the cross combo, but you still have to deal with reject guard on the main character on Yang here. Gets the follow up, and you get caught in in the crystal. That was so clutch there from Zero Shadow Blood. Just, you know, dialing in a, uh, a super that was going to make contact with, uh, with Elon, no matter what he did, based off that situation they had. Okay. Get the switch on over. Uh, gets on that, but unfortunately misses on that again. This time, like, misses on an opportunity city for Elon. That was very clutch for Elon to pump the brakes. You know, that 5DB does pull the opponent forward, so you can set up time situation for full screen. Zero Shadow Blood knew that, didn't want to get nicked, but Elon just faded out the reversal. Yeah, gets hit with the overhead, but does oh, switch no. I burn here. You know, get the opportunity to kind of hold it down. Yeah, yeah, I got mixed up on the meter there. I thought Zero Shadow Blood had two bars, so I thought that uh, New was as good as dead, but no. We'll be able to fight on. Is that going to be a punish? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, gets a, a good first out just in time there. S side switch with uh, with Carmine, but gets DP'd out of the way. Man, if you're Zero Shadow Blood, you do not want this to go into a 2 0 territory. Oh, man, and taking the plunge. Oh, wait, so Carmine doesn't go down. There's still a chance. You need to maintain this to be you. Yeah, jumps on all the other side here. You have to deal with the cross combo though. Just holding it down, just kind of keeping up those resources. Has plenty to work with. Unfortunately, Carmine is down. Oh my gosh, masterclass play here from Elon. So the Rampage time is activated. Honestly, I keep it zero. Shadow Blood. Oh, okay. The, did not make full contact with the full screen new combo. Yeah, Elon's not going to commit much at all. Yeah, activates on the resonance there. Ooh. Going into the cross combo. Yes, it's gonna be dead with CP out in the distance. Zero Shadow Blood looking for answers, none to be found as Elon goes up 2 0. Yeah, and this, like, kind of what you said, like, like the original team didn't work. Switch over to Yang Carmine just to try it out. We're going back to character select. Where is it gonna go? I mean, I, I guess he's gonna go back to the tried and true. Like, the issue with this is, like, 
now you have to reverse sweep Elon, and like Elon is looking so comfy cozy. Think about the like narrative of these sets so far. He fought this team already, nearly got a perfect on it, switched to the Yang Carmine, completely switched up the playstyle, closer, but still couldn't close it out, so now you're just going back to square one, right. which was honestly the worst result out of the two games. Yeah, <laughs> like, though, definitely was able to, especially like using like the, the, the long jumping command, uh, like uh, normals of Carmine in there, just to get it, like, was able to get like some clips in there and get the follow up, was able to get things happening. Unfortunately, it's like, okay, let's just go for comfortability over here. Let's just go, like, let's just get, let's see where we can go here. This is going to be the final straw. You guys keep with this team. Yes. It, I mean, I, I've been talking to players as well because I've been noticing Elon's, uh, it, like, in person mannerisms when it comes to these sets. Every set that Elon has been playing, he's been popping off. Like, in pools, he got, he like, won his round one match and he popped off. Yeah. And, like, it was a 3 0, but, like, he's just, like, I think he's really focused and determined to really get the W here and uh, just kind of, like, feeling the pressure, you know? Yeah, I know. If you can't get excited for yourself, who can you be excited for at that point? So. Right? <laughs> So we're already in there, like, yeah, going to continue down, like, like honey down with the dew. On the other side, we go, and you get this long range, just <laughs> like the, the big sub sandwich of a like, cross combo. Dude, L on is something else, man. Zero Tattle Blood just can't seem to get anything started. The runaway game is in play. Back up against the wall, I surf forward out of there. Okay, once again, getting clipped down there, and yeah, going like gets to push into the corner. Very dangerous situation. Yeah, finishes off with the cross ray to get Hilda, get that uh, extra little like uh, like boost of damage in there. Okay, if I can cross up to the mass opportunity for Shadow Blood, the first significant point of hit points that they've been able to implement on Hilda. The burst is there. Needs to really do anything that they can with this uh, situation that they found. The UB6 piece in today. Yeah, Yubi Assist goes in the Frozen, giving an opportunity for Susano for Zero Shadow Blood to get this plenty of like damage into the corner there. Tries to go for a reset, gets pushed out of the way. Oh my gosh, the falling overhead, the four bars on deck. It keeps it burst safe. That was genius there from Elon. Didn't really have a point to kill Susano safely, so just made sure that they had an assist called to where in case Zero Shadow Blood burst it, it would be punished no matter what. Right, right, yeah. It's like definitely kind of keeping you know, the options in the favor, like showing all, keeping all your cards close to your hands. Ah, and I think that might be it, that full screen active switch. It is yep. Elon getting the 3-0 victory over Zero Shadow Blood and will persist on through the loser's <laughs> run. And Elon is feeling it. Like definitely like just very excited for that. Gets a 3-0 and like like how can you not be at that point? Like just like that, like just a strong performance all all throughout. Yeah, like as I said before they started playing, Elon's been looking for the run back on the set because they were pretty heartbroken um, at Frosty's when Zero Shadow Blood was able to get that win. So uh, just kind of harboring that for the past eight months <laughs> and yeah. finally being able to meet him again within Orlando. And that's a pretty significant victory in a pretty uh, crazy bracket. Because think about this. Mm -hmm. um, Elon, Zero Shadow Blood, they were grand finals of CEO 2021. I think like every major that they have entered, it's been constant, like at least top fours right. for both of them. Um, and so for them to have to face in that spot, that meant that whoever lost that was pretty much going to get their lowest placing that they've ever seen within a BB tag major, at least in North America, within like the past two years. Yeah. And Zero Shadow Blood that's finishing uh, seventh here at CEO Taku, despite like, I think the lowest they've placed before in the past is like third. Yeah, it, it's been like a significant, like both both these players, like definitely like were winners of previous CEO talk, uh, like CEO events. Mm -hmm. So just being able to kind of get in there and show that, like show that power at that point, like like Elon's got to be feeling good. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. They can't get too comfy cozy though, because mm -hmm. uh, if you recall what I said yesterday, there's one North American player that Elon is uh, terrified about, and it's a uh, <laughs> Yo Fame Scrub, and that's who they will be facing next. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're going to be beat, bringing back the Ruby Ragna potentially on that situation. Yes. Uh, but yeah, man, we have worked ourselves from pools to top 16 yesterday. Top 8 started today, and now we're in a top 6. The best of the best of BB Tag all coming to play. Even in this early morning, it seems like people were just like as sharp as ever. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely like every, like you know taking their vitamins, getting up or <laughs> upright and early, like just trying uh, just getting this game in. And this has been like all throughout. Like why? Like we were talking about it yesterday a little bit. Like kind of going through the bracket. There is a like. There was it was hard to predict like who was going to make it into top 16 oh, yeah. from a lot of those situations and there were definitely upsets going into it that was like I was like oh like zero shadow blood being brought to losers for example and stuff so right absolutely it, it looks like the uh, 
Oh, okay, so the graphic was actually, um, there, there's an error there. So it's actually oh. not Yofei Scrub versus um, Elon. It was Swap. So it's actually Yofei Scrub versus Razo. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that we're getting right now. And then it will be Texel Eastside versus Elon. Okay, so, um, yeah, like, definitely, does, like, Elon doesn't have to face that terrifying matchup just quite yet. But uh, in the meantime, Yofei Scrub versus Razo, this is going to be a good match. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm really... Here for this, you're talking like one of the goats of the game in the form of Razo, rocking that Yang Carmine, gonna be going up against uh, Yofei Scrub. This is a matchup that you would see uh, pretty often within like the 2020, 2021 era of DD Tag when Razo was more uh, frequent in online tournaments and we were in a freaking pandemic. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, th these two, whenever they play, it's always an extremely good set. You know, you have uh, someone that is just a student of the game in all aspects, Razo, mm -hmm. uh, being able to cycle multiple comp, multiple characters to play them at the highest level to really push this game to its limits. And then uh, Yofei Scrub is kind of like a character specialist in the form of the Ragna, mm -hmm. um, making that character look better than he really is, honestly, yeah. <laughs> and uh, kind of bringing the best out of North American BD Tag. So you're really seeing uh, two of uh, the NA goats kind of talking out within this uh, Hell's quarterfinal. Yeah, yeah, strap yourself in. This is going to be one hell of a ride. Go game one underway. All right, immediate with the like uh, put the push guard into the cross combo, getting on the other end. Like try to keep in the air, Razo, keep it up, but it gets clipped by Ragna. Yeah, they got the Yofei Scrub in front of here, trying to. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a sound situation. Puts on Razo to block on the tin side. Okay, gets a little bit of a clip, but it, like still just kind of keeping down, like making sure that Ronda, uh, the Carmine stays down here, but gets the follow up in here. Your fame scrub working on a perfect so far. Man, yeah, it's, it's usually the Yang Karma that accepts that rounds like this with the fully dominant and one sided. So your face scrub saying, anything you can do, I can do better. Look at me go. Yeah. And this is one of those teams, especially when you have Ruby in the party, like with those those like like those big normals in the air, getting the follow up in there, especially with like Rod not being able to like kind of convert from like like some of the mobility. But and then again, you got Razo being able to like just throw out that super at any time. Yeah. There was a pretty significant turning point uh, within this set when uh, Yofei Scrub went for a fuzzy situation, but Raza was familiar with the setup and they actually blocked the assist crouching. So she wasn't susceptible to that, and uh, that escape allowed for her to get that full sequence on Ruby. Okay. Yeah, gets in with the overhead. Carmine is down here. Yeah, goes up and go immediately into burn because this is where the damage is here. She burns, but can she find the hit? I mean, anything that she can find. Just, look, oh, are you Ooh. serious? The just two C to clip low and duck under Ruby 16? Yeah, I guess <laughs> so. I guess so. You genius. <laughs> yeah, switching over, kind of keeping the safe option here. Get on the other side. Yeah, gets touched on that. Unfortunately, the partner, like partner coming out the play, you're going to get full damage in there, but it is. Ruby in favor on uh, your your favorite drop goes in, gets in with the low for it, going all the way to the corner here. Yeah, those situations where you're punishing assist characters are always so weird. There ended up being a mid combo reset there that Raza was not ready for, was just simply not blocking on the buzzsaw. <laughs> yeah, like definitely laughing on it, but it's like it's like just shaking her head and just like just just like ready, like like just was not expecting that altogether. <laughs> yeah, that, that that's a tough way to go because like if Raza was blocking, let's say, um, it would have been a pretty interesting scenario because I think uh, Scrub was in the ideology of confirming a combo no matter what. Uh, that would have given Razo an opportunity to like push block the Ruby and uh, potentially punish the Ragna, but like didn't know, was not blocking, and just straight up got clipped. And of course, the tried and true. You know, you know it's not oh. an anime stream. You know it's not an anime stream if you're not buying colors. For one. <laughs> but what colors did he buy? <laughs> well, no, Razo was looking for the Merkava colors. Oh, that's she, right. She tried to pull out the uh, Merkava Hakuman. But the Merkava color isn't unlocked, and there's not enough in-game currency oh. to get it. Hey, there's, you know, like, uh, like what, the Mr. Tardar in the background. Just oh, like, yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah, wait there, go. Somebody go tell them. Wait, yeah. Rizky Sweet Pass attack? Wait, like, go talk to Mr. Tartar. Mr. Moneybags <laughs> is right there. We got the money for you. Oh, no, the Stimmy. They didn't go to the mailbox to get the stimulus check for the Merkava colors. Oh. So now we're forced to play Spider-Man. What is this reality? It's, it's noodles for you, Spider-Man. It's a canon event. It's a canon event. Yes. <laughs> Of course, a switch over to team like like Merkava, Hakuman, no surprise there from Razo. Has used this team quite a bit, especially in top eight in the past. Yeah, absolutely. Just a full uh, switch up. We'll see if Razo, despite not having the I color palette available, if she can do what a spider can yeah. and make it happen.
yeah, the judgment of hell is upon you. But when Merkava does the, uh, if Merkava ever does cross raid where he does the swing around, I'm gonna say, see you later! Because <laughs> <laughs> it looks exactly like that. Yeah, the amazing, the amazing Merkava, man. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, into the cross combo here. A little bit of like kind of poking and like trying to see it. It gets in with the low into the corner. We go. All right. Also, again, the first of the ship for us off in here. Lockdown. Ooh, it's off the spin super as well. Really makes it hurt. All right, yeah, holding it up on there. I like, kind of keep you in the corner with the Hakaman assist in there. But it's going to be Makava <laughs> doing all the hard work. Bro, double hitting KAs are so cheap, man. What do you mean I have to block overhead twice? I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> and you have a flight. What is this character? Yeah, that's quite rude. Quite rude. But yeah, catch is on that. Going back into the corner we go. We're going to make sure you stay here. Stay where you need to be. You're in timeout. Ooh, the JC in order to get the throw bait. Not enough to kill, but one more clip is all you need here. You're still having to block in their sets up. The cross combo switches over to the Hawkman, and there it is, that overhead down. You get, you're stuck with just Ragna. Jeez, still has the cross combo available, so was able to uh, sneak in another mix up there. Yo, Fist Club does find a DP in order to escape, at least for that mix up, but cannot escape from the offense, from the momentum that Razo has been able to implement here. Yeah, a bunch of extra play from Razo here, trying to like kind of like be, being able to basically shut down Yo, Fist Club and Andrew Paul. That reject guard to keep you in the corner and like keep you within, well within range of Razo's attacks. Yeah, just a full like switch up that we've been seeing here from Razo. Kind of putting Scrub on the back foot. Scrub not going down without a fight. Honestly, not undoable. Like, uh, with the amount of damage that Ragnar is able to do, if uh, Yofei Scrub is able to find a couple of clean hits, <laughs> maybe he'll make that comeback and can't yeah, quite get done. Like, in, a, in another scenario, that is very possible. But sometimes you just get hit by the low at the end there. And Razo taking one on the board. Yeah. And now it's Scrub that's going to care to select. Scrub does have a couple of side teams. We've seen Yumi Seth, we've seen Carmine Hockerman. Okay. I know of something that he has been practicing. I don't what? know if it's coming out, but no, he is going to go for the Seth Yumi. Okay. This is. I, I like I hear like I hear a few gasps from the crowd there. This is definitely a high mobility team option here. Yeah, this was. Honestly, when this happened, Frosty Faustings got the same crowd reaction because it was just like one of the last things that people expected Scrub to pick, and they, they won the whole damn tournament with it in Chicago just in January. But now they're back here, you know, found in a similar situation of where they were when they pulled it out of Frosty. You know, you're down, there's significant outplay, you just need a massive change in your overall approach. And now the Seth Yumi is going to be the pick that you're going to opt to try to get the job done with. Yeah, a uh, little bit of clips on Yumi there. And this is one of the things, like, Seth has options to the orbs. They get the, like, kind of the follow-up in there. And especially in the game where you have, like, partner assists and everything, and we're going to have to kind of, like, follow the bouncing ball on everything. Every little bit of option, sometimes those orbs come into play handy. Oh my gosh, get the anti or able to confirm with the Seth orb in the back. No matter if you win, if I have so much coverage, I'll be able to try to hit somehow. Yeah, he goes in, like, catches on it, like, get the, get the command normal on there, gets the push off, and you still have to deal with Merkava. Such smart coverage there from Razo. The push block had uh, Hoffman uh, vulnerable, so Razo opting to make sure that uh, Scrub can get that full screen punch with the 2 1 a little bit of clip, get fro got frozen for the trouble here. Trying to use a little, like wrong return, a dive kick in there and fades out the DP, and that's one down. Hakaman is up on their own. Oh my god, yeah, four damage situation. Raza does activate the resonance, so we'll be able to notify a lot of this mix. Oh, that was a good snipe. Unfortunately, you can't get Yumi from that high with that super go. Yeah, and now this is like your your mobility is like is, is like stuck a little bit here, and you're having to deal with this team of going in, but. Oh, switches out the cross combo to make that safe. Well played from, from your favorite scrub. Yeah, just playing it slow. You know, forcing Razo to spend that bar is pretty significant because now Razo's win potential has been significantly neutered. He's going to be character to off this air rate conversion, and this could be death. Yeah, switch the aerial rave. Yeah, going to go ahead and switch it one more time. Just go ahead and activate that super. If this doesn't kill, he has them. Yeah, there it is. Distortion. Finish. Oh, man. Everybody's clapping it up. But I feel like it's not even a matter of they're like clapping it up for Scrub specifically. I think they're just clapping it up for some good ass BB tag. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and, and this is what I want to see. Like, we're at that late stage where, like, you have the counter pick teams and you're going to see, like, you're think Like, Razo, she's thinking about it. Like, mm -hmm. like definitely, like, uh, uh, like, was it stuck on it? There, the, um, your fave Scrub is stuck on a team that's, like, high mobility, but just goes right back into it.
Yeah. We're ready for the rematch. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And like, I understand Razo not wanting to go back to the Yang Carmine. Because although that Yang Carmine is extremely impressive once they get started, fully unblockable, Luke City, the neutral is not the best. And when you're going up like against a cop like Seth Yumi, you really need to be able to make sure you can lock them down and keep up with them. And I just like, you know, you, you, it's gonna be forcing you to like try really hard to do so with a cop like Yang Carmine. Yeah, going in on there, all the way into the corner here, getting the follow-up. Okay, yeah, well over 9k done to the stats locked down. And Scrub just cannot find a way out. The Yumi burst. No, no access switch there from Razo. I feel like there's a punish opportunity there. Oh yeah, yeah, get the fly in. And one of the things that, that Merkava does have access to is like you fly in, you get that corner carry all the way to the other side. Yikes, instant overhead yet again. Kept it burst safe. The set will be going down meterlessly as well. Look at these punch adaptations that play here for Razo, the sharp. Yeah, but does get clipped by it, but doesn't get the conversion. No connecting flight for you. Yeah, I was looking for the uh, fuzzy conversion. This wasn't quite close enough to take advantage of that Hoffman herb box. Look at the response here from Razo. <laughs> Not quite enough to kill, though. Yeah, activate to Resonance in here, trying to get like a little bit of that, like you're going slowly. It's only level two Resonance, so you're not going to get nearly as much health as you want to. Hey, yeah, just chipping away, does find the active switch mix. We are tied up two, two. The crowd goes wild. Everyone has pulled up for this one. Yeah, just very excited. <laughs> the amazing Merkava making the work happen there. And and like the crowd is shouting everything right now. So you know Scrub is deep in thought about like what do I do? This Seth Yumi has came through for me in the past, or do I go with what I know? It looks like we are locked into game five. It will indeed be the Seth Yumi. We're locked in, we're ready to go. And I love that. I love it when we get into prices right mode. It's like, no, pick, go, go to team. Like, you know, like trying to throw out the yell out the <laughs> suggestions in there. But yo, Fave Scrub is going to keep with the Seth Yumi team. Two and two versus Razo with the Merkava Hakaman. Where are we going? We're gonna fight up together. The game five situation. What do we see here? Both of them taken to the skies. It's gonna be a matter of uh, Yoke Scrub not being, you know, sub uh, subject of these like Merkava flights that have been really coming in clutch. And there it is, fourth time situation with the Astrid yet again. No full combo from Razo though. Okay. Right, yeah, with the dive kick in there, like push guard as soon as they land in there, but you're still stuck in a cross combo. The, yeah, yeah, so like running through with the set in there, but misses on it, unfortunately, and Merkava gonna get an opportunity. Razo getting plenty of damage now. That was potentially a game defining drop. Oh wow, the Hawkman 16 not quick enough to make contact with Seth. Gets a surprise cross up. We'll be able to tag out and let Seth heal a little bit. It's gonna be on Scrub to try to play this out with solo Yumi and let Seth heal as much as possible. But already getting poked out. Yeah, this is very important. Like Razo getting plenty of damage on Yumi. Both characters are down low into the red for Yo Fave Scrub here. Trying to build a trying to build up that recoverable health with Seth in there and you just Yumi, but you get caught in the DP and on the other side, you're still trying to make the movement here into the cross combo. Oh yeah, push blocks the air raid, so no mix-up. Trying to get the full screen conversion with the snowbird. Blocks the last minute mix-up. Scrub finds a hit. I think this will be death on the Merkava. Yeah, goes ahead using it again, bring out the tornado. What a big, powerful low there. And this is one of those interesting scenarios of BB time, where it's a 2v1 situation, but the person with the one character has plenty of life. The person with two does not have much life to gamble. You have to be really careful how you approach this, because if one of them dies, you're yeah, gonna be oh. in a tough scenario, but finds the action switch mix up with the action swap GP. Two bars available, this won't kill, but you're wasting that rest of the time. Yeah, decide to keep on the bar, just keep those resources just to make sure it gets, uh, gets a little bit of clip and nothing for it afterwards. Goes in, like already sets up the orb in the background. Another orb for you, switches out to the Yumi. Kind of keeping the distance here. Any crit will get matter and almost, almost clicks on the steady P after the conversion from the frozen projectile. Yeah, good on Razo to push block that set to nullify the potential sandwich situation. Locks out that snowboard, push block in there. Ooh, oh, oh, this is on it. Blocks no it on that. And the clip from that for your face crop. Gonna get it down in there. Sets it up. One more arrow rave is all you need. That's all you need to finish it off. And the, the fist bump, the quitting, and the hug out. But your face crop moving on. Oh my gosh, that was so freaking tense. Razo had a potential game defining hit on that sword blow, triggering the stagger state, but just could not confirm the situation properly. The nerves were way too high for both sides there, but Scrub giving the 
thumbs up of approval while I was able to get the job done, y'all. But at what cost? That was such a crazy set. You can, you can, I can, I can feel the uh, just the relief, the palp like the palpitations on that. Just like it's like I can't believe that went through there. The thumbs up and then Mentos, the fresh maker, happening right there. Someone clip that, make that, make that freeze frame on there. That was excellent from Yo Face Scrub. What an up, like being able to take advantage of some of those uh, scramble situations in there to make it work out. What a play. Yeah, it was. It's a battle of champions, right? You have uh, Razo, two-time Evil Champion, Yo Face Scrub, two-time Frosty's Champion, mm -hmm. uh, just really kind of showcasing what they're able to do. They have counter picks, they have adaptations to play. They can make sense of the chaos that is BB Tag, right. even when they're going up against one of the best. It was just, man, one of my favorite sets of the year, honestly. It was really, really good. Yeah, yeah. What a set be between those two here. Unfortunately, that does mean like Razo, Razo is out. Yo Face Scrub going to be moving on here, but we still got. Plenty, plenty of matches to go through right here, right now. Indeed, indeed. Next up should be Elon versus Tectal East side. So okay. this will be an interesting one. Yeah, so we already saw, like, again, the long range, the long arm of the law from uh, from Elon in there. Just uh, being able to kind of keep kind of keep at bay here. I, I'm wondering if, like, it's going to keep on going with Tectal East side. I don't know if these two have ever fought each other in bracket, actually. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that because I don't know if that's the case either. If they did, it would have had to have been at CEO 2021. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think the bracket worked out of the way they, they would have played at Taku last year, but just, like, even if it was just that one time, like, a, a year and a half ago, dog. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's so, so long. Like, there's there's plenty of Netflix to watch in between that time. So <laughs> there's, there's things to do, so. Yes, yes. Now, I do find this matchup extremely interesting, right? Because it's just, like, um, Hilda is a character that completely shapes the Asia meta. So like Japanese and Korean players, they are well aware of Hilda and Elon's one of the best with it. Um, Texel, on the other end of the spectrum, we do have some Hilda players in North America, but we right. don't have a ton. And um, you know, back when Beepaw was grinding the game online, you could play Beepaw, you know, every now and then in an online tournament. Beepaw, much less active on the game as of late, and Texel, much less active on the game as of late. So I don't know how familiar he is with the Hilda matchup. Yeah, that, that's interesting, and especially, like, we don't have any new experience in America, really. Like, it, <laughs> yes! Like, it, it is just, it is just, like, from uh, from the major standpoint in here, like, you are going in, like, it's like, well, time to figure out where, like, go from, watch the footage at that point. But we're just testing out those buttons here, and this is, you know, I expect no changes from Techno, like, even with the Ruby Yubi team, like, a very powerful team in their regards, has plenty of options to deal with, and especially, like, like being able to use the like the long range normal that Ruby has in the air to be able to like, kind of like cover the cover the air as much as possible. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that because uh, I, I made a video about a year ago. Uh, it was a collaboration video with me and Yofei Scrub. We were talking about like the best characters to pick in BB Tag if you're trying to like learn the game. But like not only just like beginner friendly, but like also like scales well in the high level play. Right. And so um, we made a tier list. But like at the end of the video, we gave suggestions of teams that we think are like great for achieving just that task. And one of my picks was Ruby Yumi. Like, yeah. uh, this team, two characters that are like very straightforward and easy to play, but has enough layers to carry in a high level that will like be able to top some of the best of the best. And they're proven, they're strong. It's like an amazing team to pick up the game with, in my opinion. Right, right. Uh, like, especially if you're wanting to learn BB Tag for the first time, or even if you're like wanting to try to figure out something, like deal with like partner assist, that is just a good team to kind of like mess, because like a lot of things are just not, like, you you can't go wrong. You're right. I am a Shinobi. But yeah, Elon. I saw I saw the the new Standy go, uh, giving giving power to Elon there. So yeah. like like focusing back on the idol here, the namesake, if you will. Indeed, indeed. Elon new 13. So like I feel like if Techno keeps that pace that they have in the top three match, they're going to great. Well, I was gonna say if they just beat Elon in the skies and track him down, they may have some success. But I might be fooled. Elon immediately finding the air there with no sequences. Yeah. Oh yeah, goes ahead and set up the partner assist into the DP, was just ready for it. Goes ahead and activate the cross combo. Going down. Oh yeah, does the change on the burst, but was ready for it. Gets clipped on the ground and you're still stuck in the corner, but only as Yumi now got oh caught in the low. That's not a good sign, Risky Sweep getting opened up by the 5B, the mix up there. I don't know how familiar Techno will be with this matchup. Not, let alone one of the best Hilda players. No, it's not just any Hilda player. It's like, right, how do I right. this character? It's like, this, this is like one of the best. <laughs> yeah, Elon may have new in the name, but like definitely like very powerful Hilda. Yeah. Oh, Ball and Pain has three bars available. I don't know if this team can threaten to kill on Ruby from this situation. It looks like Elon's not even going to try. He's going to sit on the lead. Yeah. Like, looks like jumped over, trying to bait out a button from, from, uh, 
from Ruby, but it, like definitely can still gets a hit in there, and then we got one down. It's only up to like a single Ru Yumi. Okay, yeah, of course, that was the situation with the JP cross combo. Oh, Taito gets hit by the 5 a axe switch. Yeah, that will be all going yeah. up game one. Yeah, a lot of that was like kind of like Elon testing out the ground, like seeing like, okay, what happens if I do this? Like going in there, like testing out your reactions, like setting up the partner assist, going for the DP afterwards, uh, trying to go in there with the, uh, like going in like for the tricky grab in there, like kind of obscuring the vision there. Right. So. Now, much to Tecto's benefit, in my opinion, there were a lot of tells in that set that will give Tecto information of how this set will be moving forward. So, the JC plus, oh my god. Happy birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday situation. But like, the JC plus assist is a common LL technique. He knows that it's got a sandwich. Full screen mix-up game. He knows that that's part of the equation. So he can try to adapt to that. It's just, can he do so in a first-degree setting? Okay, yeah, actually, uh, get, the, get the clip on the top screen of it. Oh yeah, try, Hilda trying to uh, trying to do super in the air. I actually get a little bit of clip saving Techno for a brief moment, but however, still stuck in it. He's gonna get the cross combo and do the plenty of damage here. Yeah, Elon just hitting on that significant life lead. You know it's bad when there's only 40 seconds on the clock. Elon almost has full life lead, and you're over there on the other side of the screen fighting for your life. Yeah, it's a very like it's like I'm just trying to get all the way through here, and like Elon just just play the game, like play Leapfrog all the way through, and we're just we're getting the big sub combos. My God, where is the escape? Yeah, that's one thing I mentioned previously. Elon on both characters, full screen control. You cannot call assist from a full screen setting. You are going to get sniped. Right, right, and this is the problem. Oh. Yeah, switches over, gets hit with the hell, and that's a quick two zero -oh so far for Elon New. Elon New thirteen, he's fully focused, man. And you see Tetra East side deep in thought of just like, yo, what do I do, dog? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bring it, bring it the Peco pain. How am I supposed to use a toy like this? And yeah, Amnesia just like no completely lost here. Just like as I said, like the fundamentals are strong. He does have a way that he's trying to approach Hilda in a sense, but he just cannot figure out enough of the game plan in order to have a significant like point in the matchup. Yeah, taking a moment to kind of like breathe and kind of consider the options here. And uh, I agree with that. Just trying to think of like this is a very important, very critical thing. Like you got to make the last, the last little bit count here. Locking in on the Ruby Yubi team, no surprise ready, there. But maybe there's a little bit more of a game plan there, like realizing like, okay, I need to find a way to get in like close, close for comfort at that point. I'm not able to get in. Yeah. Uh, we'll see what we'll be able to make happen. I mean, it's like extremely important to get something and kind of establish it right away. Because Elon, I can tell you right now, with the way he's playing, it's fully comfy. Yeah, if he's doing yeah. stuff like that, I like running up very confidently with new assists in the back and just DPing in your face, yeah. that, that just really goes to show how confident Elon is within this matchup. Yeah, started that like on the first match with the test on on that and like it's still still working so far here on that but like Techno Eastside finally getting a little bit of a clip a little bit of a chance here make him pay Techno it's pretty much now or never look at those push blocks coming into play oh my god oh, got, got clipped out of it and new got an opportunity yeah using those jumping normals from from the distance in there to get on that switching out cross combo time get the push away but you're still stuck in here you're still stuck between us Oh my god, what is the move here? Double 5 B activation six to the spike chaser. Elon does not have the life lead, but we have that full screen maintained. Has not been able to solve for assist DP. Keeps it first safe. Why would I hit a button, amigo? Give me that ruby. All right, yeah, it's just, just going in. Keeping it comfortable. Hilda just, just lazing about. Hit ready for that. Goes <laughs> instead of it. Gets ready. Gets a surprise in there and down. And you were off to, once again, the solo Yumi instant resonance activation. Oh, that was the definition of conditioning. Elon did nothing but assist plus DP. And so, Dragon, like they were going to do it again, Tech was like, okay, I'm a block. And he's like, by the way, I got an instant overhead player. Yeah, That's surprise. Not safe either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still have that. Goes in down there. And like Elon just like not approaching, just playing the safe game there, just getting the damage where it counts here. In a very good position. Just playing King Kong on the Ad Switch game. The skies are safe. I will control them with my one and only, my tried and true, my Elon New. Yeah. Elon bringing the, the paint Peko to this <laughs> bracket here. And like and again, like it was like it seemed like Techno East Side was a little bit lost in trying to deal with the setups in there. And was just like just very comfortable going in there.
but still a strong showing all the way through. Yeah, for a lot of the legacy players in that sense, like, because I've seen a couple of them kind of play within uh, the tag uh, tournaments within like, the past couple years. So, like, a, a player like a Techno East Side, uh, even like a player like a Jonah Kim, who I've seen play, like, not recent recent, but like within like 2021, 2022, I saw them enter some brackets. The thing I'm always concerned about them uh, is when they fight extremely 2.0 centric playstyles or extremely like refined um, late game BB tag type of playstyles. So right. uh, with the way that Alon plays, it's very new age BB tag in a sense, new, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no yeah. pun intended. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, it's just like in the moment, trying to adapt that within a tournament match. And again, like I said, it's not any Hilda, it's one of the best Hildas. Yes. That's extremely hard to navigate and adapt to in the heat of the moment, man. <laughs> yeah, especially when you have like two long range fighters from a, like from from that and you're just like, all I, like, I want to do is get close. I want to get that cross combo happening. I don't want to make sure that I can make my statement on there. Mm -hmm. But I do believe we are going into ads right after this. So don't go anywhere. We still got plenty of BB tag action coming to you. But we got, you know, we got to pay the bills, of course. So. Okay, we are back here. We're getting into the top four situation for BB Tag 20, uh, CEO Taku 2023. Indeed, indeed. We have been seeing so many amazing matches uh, within this top eight thus far. Really just throughout the entire tournament, but it, it has Get been whittled down to the best of the best, the creme de la creme, and we are in our heavens uh, final here uh, within Chop Suey versus Monkey, for, Monkey 4012. Excuse me. All right, and again, like going in, yeah, we like no no real surprises. Like we saw the Yumi Adachi come out from Monkey well, Monkey uh, early on, and Chia Izayoi been the strong pick for that for for uh, for Chop Suey this entire time. But we're going right into it here. Oh my God, this is not the way you want to start, bro. Against this team, AK already done one of your characters. That's half a life bar player. Yeah, yeah, good. Like like try to explain that. Yeah, and I mean, Izio's going to be joining her on the bench there as far as, like, uh, being injury reserved. It, within 20 seconds on the clock, so much life has been lost. Yeah, ready for the first at that point, going into the arrow array once more here in the follow-up, and that's going to be, yeah, one down. Doesn't even have to use any meter for that. Bro. When will Chop Suey find an opportunity to do anything in this match, but seemingly never as we commit to DT and only make contact with the Persona? It's so over. <laughs> yeah, that is, uh... That was what, like a 43 second round or something like that? Yeah, you know, sometimes this uh, this Yumi Adachi team will just do that to you, man. Like you get snowballed, they get their game plan going and uh, you just die. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, like, you know, can't, es can't escape from from, from the snow snowball effect basically at this point. Exactly, man. I mean, uh, it's nothing to get too, too, too deterred by if you're Chop Suey, right? You know, Chop Suey recognizes it's just like, that's just how the team works. Sometimes games like that are just going to happen, right? right it's nothing right. you're necessarily doing wrong. Just, you know, try not to let it happen again. <laughs> um, unfortunately, going to get hit with the Zeodyne all the way into the corner here. Does try to try to roll out to escape from that, and it's just like trying to try to really escape from the momentum that Monkey has been blazing here in this winner's finals. Bro, Monkey's in the zone right now. He, like, it's been a while since you saw him play because he was literally the first match on stream, but he is playing hot. Like, everything is just on fire right now. Yeah, like, it like, never stops playing in between those sets, feels like. Yeah, he's not letting that Izuoi fly for free, just locking her down. 5 to 5 a hitting in the front. Able to make it burst safe, you better believe it. Yeah, we're not being able to see any of the options that we were, we were talking about, Chop Suey, being able to be known for, like, especially kind of keeping on the flight pattern, because you're being locked down! Man, a quick two games for Monkey 4012. Both games lasting under 50 seconds here. <laughs> like... Man, yeah, we are. Uh, we need to have the uh, the speed runner counter in the right hand side of the screen here at this point here. Right, to count it down. <laughs> you're like you're like when the flags in there, like round one, round two, round three. <laughs> well, here we go, monkey trying to work on a third one here. Can chop to stop the momentum? Oh man, yeah, full screen does get that unblockable DP guaranteed thanks to the BPO lockdown. Chop Suey's looking for answers, none to be found quite yet. Just gonna opt to take the damage here. Yeah, already well below half a life bar here, and you're still stuck in the corner. Manage it, able to escape out the Zeodyne with that like, that slow start up in there to try to get out of there. Try to use the range, use the projectile to keep up in the air to avoid that altogether. And finally, we're getting like we're getting a little bit of lift off from Izayoi. 
Yeah, very impressive with Chop Suey to be able to find these sequences to actually jump out of the BZL setup. That's been really um, allowing them to kind of get away, but it's not to anything too significant in their favor yet. They still have yet to find any significant hits on Monkey 4012's team. Yeah, they're like definitely getting a couple of clips on the partner, but not the active character at the moment. There's a low opportunity city for Chop Suey. Yeah, finally the first significant point of damage, but it's a double two-way starter. Nothing too crazy. Still, the pressure's kind of on Chop in order to mitigate uh, some of the damage that has been done thus far. Okay, yeah, kind of keeping the range in here. Monkey, like, this is the first time, like, Monkey's had to slow down a little bit here. But the fly Yubi has, like, those long-distance normals that can get in there in the bottom. But the problem is, Chop Suey's, like, once, once they have lifted off, they have never, they have barely touched the ground. Oh, okay, yeah, ended up going for the active swap on the uh, easy way there. Was afraid to, uh... Monkey might commit to some type of DP. Oh, that is a cheeky one right there. The yes. air super with the DP in order to cross up. Yeah, using the use the DP. Gets out of the corner, but at what cost? The loss of Adachi. All right. Chop Suey rewarded for the patient gameplay. Finally showing that Monkey is indeed human. They do have faults. They can be taken down. A 3 0 victory is not imminent, but they haven't finished the job quite yet. The Yumi is still alive. This could potentially be it. Yeah, get the follow up. Does just goes in for the cross raid afterwards just to make sure the job is finished and we got ourselves a game in this winner's finals. Indeed, Chop not going down without a fight. As I said, definitely a player that a lot of people have eyes on. Monkey though is just really kind of a, uh, they, they've set the tone. You know, the, the yep. Chop has definitely kind of like uh, signed people as far as like think that was going to be a 3-0 victory. That's not the case, Chop is still in this. But Monkey, I still think, uh, could potentially run away with one of those Adachi Tappa Yumi rounds. Oh, oh happy birthday was starter! Have like a big happy birthday in there. Got plenty of damage on there. Already into the cross combo, keeping up that pace in there. Chop Suey is like, look at like, I can do that too. Check it out here. Whoa. Continues with the recent Achi in the corner. Crowd going a little bit wild over that. What the hell happened? <laughs> yeah, he was like, he like landed on the ground and got in like caught in clip with the ju like jumping overhead. Gets another one in here. Spring down the fist of God. Adachi's on the board only. Oh my God, he just did the DP straight off of the incoming. No fear. To be anti air from down. Oh, I can't believe that word. Adachi yeah. to be anti air is not good. Like, <laughs> yeah. managed to actually make it work there. Just get the follow up in here. Still. Ha I has about seven seconds of residence left on there. Goes ahead to activate his Zeodon, keep you up in the air. Unfortunately, meatballs come down from the sky. Just gets a little bit of a clip, and now it's uh, just as fast as it was 2-0. Now it's 2-2. Two -two. Man, yeah, and they're just going straight back into it. It looks like Chop doing a little bit of a nod, uh, feeling a little bit more confident. Based off of the situation they were in, this, this, this BB tag game is funny. Because yeah. literally two minutes ago, I think Chop was sweating bullets. He's like, I'm about to get 3 0 yeah. And then two minutes later, he's like, I got this. Yeah, like, like, nope, nope. I readjusted, reticulated that spline going in already in the air here. Gets caught with the Yumi, though. Enough time for Zeodyne to come into play. I covered that ground, kind of keep it obscure a little bit into the cross combo. We go. Okay, locked down within the corner here. Gets opened up low, immediately going to the super, wants to cash out, unversible damage. Yeah, goes and sets it up again. Gets it on there. Okay, tag in Chie, trying to stop the bleeding, trying to really get anything started, find any points of momentum that they had with these past two games. We'll be able to do it with the TRM check. Yeah, gets it on there. Very nice, like, tick throw earlier on that. It's like, get down, get the DP out of the way to get out of the corner. Oh my gosh, Chop Suey is starting to find these hits, and I would say they're starting to add up. Back to this corner, this is what spelled trouble for Monkey before, yeah. recognizing that the DP out. Yeah, yeah, managed to get it out, like recognizing it on the low there. Kind of getting the follow-up, trying to switch over on tonight. Nice active switch on there to switch switch over a minute, but doesn't get as much of a hit as possible on that, and you're still stuck in the corner against the Yumi. Okay, here comes Monkey trying to lock down that Chie. Recognize that she's low on life. Chop Suey gets out of there, scot free. Rampage time could potentially happen in this match. It depends on if anybody's able to get a significant opening. 80 seconds right around the corner. Monkey relying on a lot of projectiles. Started with the early snipes. Goes into the Zeodyne afterwards here. And now Yumi for a air pressure. Actually Ooh. able to stop it out there. But gets the, like, is a yoy. Don't it get in there. That was crazy. Intentionally air blocked to AZO and then found the out the air punish. Trying to keep it all burst safe, but Monkey will not budge. But that does not mean the Chop Suey will stop the pressure. If you don't want to burst, I'll continue the offense. Yeah, now big damage chance in here. Monkey slowly being whittled down. Getting down there. You still stuck like stuck dealing with the with the meteorites here going in. Like I like I like what Chop is trying to do there. Get stuck in there, like locking down with other. Finally getting forcing Monkey to use the DP on the other side into a cross combo. Scramble situation. 
Oh my god, yeah, the cross combo is still active for Monkey. The Autopsy 6 be called, not quick enough to punish the Chie Meteor Slam. We are at Rampage time. We're at 2v2. Anyone can die at any potential moment. All the characters are low. Keep it up in the air. Use it to DP, but not too far away. And that's going to be a dead Adachi. Only Yumi going to go probably go into like level 4 resonance here. Kind of keep it up for that. Use it at the, at the Ram Armor. Into the cross combo. Instant reaction from Tatsui. Okay, Meteor just to lock down. Oh my god. Yeah, all the lockdown in the world, but all the push blocks in the world. DP interrupts from Chopsui. He's not in the clear oh, yet. That just all it takes is one hit. Yeah, it's going in there and like a Chie with Resident. Oh yes, this gets go! Goes from low! Gets into the corner! Goes ahead and activates the meatballs. Activates Resident while up there, making it safe! Going in and pushing the reject oh going and gets caught on gosh. there. And you can see the palpable relief from Chop Suey feeling it like with the <laughs> pop-off there. Man, that, that's the most emotion I've seen Chop Suey emote in a BB Tag Tournament set ever. <laughs> like, he, he's a pretty low key, very chill guy, extremely nice guy, too, if you ever get a right, chance right. to talk with Chop. But, like, usually he's, like, pretty serious, like, pretty, like, all business when we play the sets. But on that one, he had to get the pop off out there. He just qualified for um, yeah. the grand finals. And, I mean, like, that. The incoming with Chie, I think, threw everyone for a loop because like she ended up crossing over to the other side. I don't, yes. think, I don't think Monkey hit a button. I think he wanted to block the incoming. Right, but right. she just ended up on the right side of the screen and like Chop didn't even really have a combo. I think he could have killed at that point. He's just like, what the, what, what the hell just happened? Yeah, just like, like, well, like <laughs> luck of the favor. Just like, you know, like what happens in those BB Tech scramble situations. It's like suddenly it's like, oh, I need to take, like, I can get what I can, I'm going to get what I can out of this <laughs> at the end there. But what <sighs> a play there, especially near the end. Yeah, throwing out the meteors, they're like going in. They're activating residents to kind of keep up and like kind of keep up that time and was able to finish it off immediately after. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Chop. Man, did I did I jinx it? Did I did I predict the future, man? I don't know. He's a he's a grand. Like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we're just we're we're doing our jobs. Is what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> could be, could be. Oh man, this is setting an interesting precedent for this bracket. Look at this. Hell semifinal. Yo, Fish Scrub Elon is coming up right now. Monkey is waiting within the Hell's final. It's just a wave of nostalgia flowing through me right now. Scrub and Elon have played a myriad of times. Elon is trying to finally find the victory against Scrub. They have not been able to find it. The most feared matchup. But within the Hell's Final Monkey waiting, if your fear Scrub gets there, it's the run back of what we saw in Heaven, Heaven Semi that Monkey took that so dominantly. If it's Elon that makes it in there, it's a run back from CEO 2021 uh, within the top three losers finals. It was that exact same situation. Exactly. <laughs> and it's like we're going back into like we're repeating history, if you will. Oh my god, the BB tag stories that are able to be told. You love to see it. The game still having development, still having peak BB tag be played this late into the game's life cycle. Yeah, you know, it, it, it just it's fantastic to see, especially with the uh Oh, we, we talked about it once before, but the assortment of characters we were seeing, like especially early on, like 2.0, like uh, like later on, as like things were kind of building up, a lot of people were like, oh, we want to, we, we're going to put Yumi with everything, we're going to put Adachi with everything, and everyone's like, okay, we can kind of figure out works. Everyone, it's like a little bit familiar team. Only Monkey has been playing the Adachi Yumi in this set, in this uh, so far in this top eight. Yeah, this top four is a beautiful thing because we have four completely different styles of approaches, yes. right? Chop Suey on that Izio Chie, one of a kind, mobility is the game. Uh, you know, Monkey mostly on that Adachi Yumi, so as you were just mentioning, but then we have these two coming up. Hilda New, we already know what's to deal with that. Full screen mix up, full screen oppression, you cannot move. And this Ragnar Ruby, I'm gonna do it with the fundies. I'm gonna do it with strike throw. I'm gonna find a way in there eventually. Yeah. <laughs> so the last time, like at CEO 2022, Yo Fave Scrub did win this in loser finals against Elon three to one. Mm -hmm. So that's a, uh, it is like it is the run back here, and like your fave scrub has shown they can get in in that situation. But can it happen again? Can lightning strike twice? We're gonna find out. We'll have to see. Yeah, Elon has been so flustered by this player matchup that in that exact set you were talking about last year, they actually pulled out. That's when they pulled out their Akatsuki. Um, they, they've been training up at Akatsuki for some certain counterplays and some certain matchups, and they were feeling so flustered in that event last year. They tried to get scrub, it did not work out. Um, I think that they may have even tried to cheat in that set. I can't not quite remember, but. It looks they're just in the new. They've been looking impeccable within this run so far. So if there's any time to take out their bracket demon, now would be it. Yeah, no, this is the opportunity of a lifetime here. Going to get the follow up, and already we're kind of playing it. And like the, the blocking from Yo Fame Scrub, the block the overhead afterwards on that, kind of keeping the distance, waiting for that chance. Okay, yeah, tried to do the two B in order to keep the first save, did not quite work out. So now Scrub will be able to bring in the Ruby freely. 
All right, yeah, a reject guard instantly. Yeah, was able to make that like as short as possible in there. Still get in with the grab afterwards here. We're stuck in the corner and we're dealing with another cross combo from Yo Fave Scrum. Yup, big fuzzy, cracking the dome. Hilda, she's, you know, she's pretty, but she's also very tall. Yeah, and very <laughs> dead right now. <laughs> yeah, not gonna be able to get out of that fuzzy situation. This is massive for Yo Fave Scrum, isolating the new 13. She isn't the worst comeback character in the world, but it's heavy resonance for Lion. You see the resonance being activated now. You're going to be able to chip down Ragna quite a bit, but you still need to find an opening hit. Gets the instant overhead. Oh my god, there's a chance. Very, very critical territory there. Going in, following now. Yeah, throws out the push guards. And does get that clip on Ruby. on you. So like Elon New getting in there, follow with on, having to activate Resonance to make that safe and be able to block afterwards. Oh my god, Elon is completely depleted on resources. Zero bars on Elon's end. You know, you have the full life bar, but I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna hold you. Like Elon needs like four hits to win this. That's one yeah. of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like, and you know, like you definitely, once you're in, you're like, you see that going up, 35 hits right there for a 6.8K, not too shabby for a 1v1. Yes, so yo, Fame Scrub. Trying to work their way in. Elon's not with the backup against the wall. Yofi and Scrum says, now's the time to strike. There's nowhere to run. Yeah, Kel does get the follow-up. Goes ahead and spins a little bit of that cash in there to nearly even it out here. Kind of get the pushback. Um, yeah, and just a little bit of a clip from Elon. I don't... Uh, no, she can't kill here. Oh, oh yes, no, she can. Yes, she yes, can. She can. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Elon able to make it happen. We'll be able to get game one over Yo Fave Scrub. Scrub taking it easy, vibing with the AirPods. No idea what he's listening to. Yeah, no, just just positive vibing, just going right back into rematch. Elon had like there's a little bit of a sigh there just as that was ending. Just to was like I was like, okay, like set the tone, set the pace in here. Going up one as we go into this hell semifinals. Yeah. And let it not go without notice. That was an extremely clutch 1v2 from Elon. Yeah. Like the new 13, being able to outplay a 1v2 is like not a very common thing that you see in nowadays BB tag. So just really showing the promise that he has with the character. Yeah, into the cross combo we go. Goes ahead and sets up the uh, the ground spikes in there. Hilda gonna take it from here, passes the baton. Oh, there it is, 5BB mixing up with the low, finds the throw, has two bars available. You didn't snap? Oh. I can't believe that Elon didn't do the super, but it ends up working out. Nope, just like, just like, looked like it was just trying to like, like wait out or like maybe just like on the input there. But on a, try to switch over to the other side. Yo, Fame Scrub ready for it. Are we going to get one of those Ragnar rounds where it's like, dang, Yo, Fame Scrub is in so much trouble. It's like a, a, a gimmick that happens when you see the superhero in trouble. But you're just <laughs> like, oh man, how will, how will Yo, Fame Scrub fight out from this? And then all of a sudden just activates the Super Saiyan mode and makes it happen with that resistance activation. Yeah, tune in next episode of BB Tag. <laughs> <laughs> We're finding that round right now. Actually gets a little bit of a clip, but nothing else happens. Afterwards, unfortunately, here does get the cross combo, trying to set it up there, and you got to deal with all like the, the extra range that new 13 has. Yeah, this is rough. Okay, so Yo Fame Scrub's massive win condition in the form of uh, Racket Resonance has been completely nullified. Already getting hit on the incoming here. The opportunities for comeback are getting. I done. He's dead. Yep, yeah, there <laughs> it is. Yeah, Pokey Poke. Oh man, Yo Fame Scrub goes down two games now as Elon is up 2 0. I don't think. Elon has ever been in this position against Yofi Scrub before. To have this dominant of a lead. Yeah, definitely like and you were talking about like like wanting the run back. Probably been thinking about it, trying to plot. It's like realizing that this is one of those matches that like having to like like kind of under like to study and to understand a little bit. And like clearly that study the, the the test is paying off. It's working. Yeah, it seems so, it seems so. Like I said, Elon's been on another level within uh, this bracket run thus far. He is dipping around the screen. There's one thing that I know about. Okay, no. It looks like it is going to be possibly the Carmine Hockerman that he's going for. Carmine. Yeah, that is okay. the case. That is the case. All right. This is a team that Scrub picks to deal with some type of screen control comps. I've commonly seen him pick it against Rachel. I can Some Hilda comps as well. Um, it's really good in terms of like the lockdown potential, but also Hockerman having the ability to like slash projectiles. Okay. Really comes into play within these games. Now, I ha don't think I've seen him play this all weekend, and he's down two games against Elon. Yeah, so you're locked in. You yeah. have to play this the entire time. But there is like, you know, like like those big buttons that can kind of reach out there. Like I said, like like slices out the projectiles, being able to kind of get in. The problem is, Hawkman, you got to get a little bit of setup, but you got to have that extra little bit of time with it. Right. Are you scared? I think the answer is no. Yeah, <laughs> Elon is like sitting pretty right now. Yeah. Drop into the cross combo we go. And again, again with the like a, just a slight overhead. Another one for you. And just going for the grab. Yo, Fame Scrub ready for it though. Yeah, 
impressive. Oh, out the air with my, you know, J8. It just happens to hit like half the screen. Yeah, catches on it, gets the counter out to play. Oh, yup, yeah, just having access to that DP. So if uh, Elon does the 5 BB, he can get rid of the high low mix. Yup. Okay, yeah, we're like kind of keeping up. Yeah, it's such a risky way to play, though. It's just like, you see Elon has already been able to bait a couple of those DPs, not making it quick too much, but the ideology is there. Yeah, you do trade a little bit of mobility with Hawkman in there, and like you see, your favorite club trying to get in, and Hilda just going in for the jumping, like jumping attacks Ooh, in there by following, but finally get the opportunity there, but not a whole lot. Tried to go in with the Carmine jumping C, no can do. Yeah, just could not optimize enough given the situation they had. Had the ideology to get the air to air, had to get the hang time enough in order to avoid the spike chaser, but couldn't get a landing, and now Elon capitalizing immensely. Scrub forced the burst. Yeah, looking for the overhead there, could not quite find it. Yeah, push guard coming into play very, very powerfully on Elon's side here. Just being able to, and you're stuck in a position where you're trying to get in, and what can you do at this point? Yeah, he oh. sends out, does does get a little bit of damage with the instant burst, and you're back to square one, but does get the other hit afterwards on this. Oh, no, there was no combo, though. No, you needed that, bro. There's a significant reason why. So this won't kill, but the Rampage time is going to be activated. Uh, you do not want Hilda to have Rampage time available. It's just like this team gets kind of hypercharged in that scenario. Goes for the yeah. super, wants oh. to avoid that type of situation, but the Carmine is dead. Yeah, like at the cost of the down Carmine there. Just goes in, get the follow-up in here. at a big chance here. He does have super, probably not going to kill with the scaling down here. Oh, oh it does! Oh, Never mind! Does it. Elon is able to get the 3-0 victory over Yo Face Scrub. That has to feel amazing to be able to do so at this stage. They're having the loser's run of a lifetime at the moment here, but I've noticed that as the it's kind of been the opposite. So, like, he is kind of like holding his chest and like getting a deep breath, but like his pop offs have become less and less like um, sporadic, right, less right. and less like uh, crazy. Because I think it's more of like a confidence walkout focus thing of like he's getting in his comfort zone. Yes. He can do this. A lot of the sets that he's been playing with in this top eight have been very, very dominant. You recall to the Tectal set, you recall to this set. He's really looking like a beast right now within the top eight run. Absolutely, like being able to guy going all the way through and being able to like, especially kind of keep him with that long range attacks and like uh, we saw like being able to, is like, oh, like uh, being able to feel like totally control and you see like in there, like making your Fave Scrub switch characters completely from the tried and true Ragnar Ruby team. Mm -hmm. Like, and like that's already a big victory on own, but able to like, actually kind of keep it over and make it seem like it make it make it seem like oh there's no, like what can you do in those situations? It's very just very very strong in Elon's favor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right now though, he does have to uh, meet up with who sent him to losers bracket. I just recalled that that yes. was a uh, top eight qualifier match, Monkey Forty Twelve versus uh, Elon. So like in that match, that's when Monkey uh, picked the Adachi Ruby. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Like yeah, like yeah. when in there was like trying to. Trying to use like use the extra like no, like normal, and we saw that like was able to lock down the ruby previously on that. So mm -hmm. we're like I'm wondering if they're going to keep to like using the Adachi. Uh, oh uh, yeah, the the, the Adachi ruby team or using like continue. It's like well, Adachi Yumi has been working so far. Let's continue down that path. Right. Yeah, I believe I believe it's a button check here. Like I, yeah. I've seen Monkey play like at least like 30 characters. Merkava and Hakuman are not one of those characters. So. <laughs> <laughs> Just feeling like. Yeah, just making sure everything is looking pretty good. I, I've been having a fantastic time watching this top eight for BB Tag. Absolutely. My uh, my sentiments exactly. It's been uh, nothing but quality sets here for this amazing legacy title. I'm so grateful to uh, Jabali for uh, hosting this for this community because, like, you know, we have been able to get on the lineup of some things here and there. You know, the combo breaker uh, place for us this year was huge. Yeah. Um, Frosty's always has us hooked up, but, like, uh, just knowing every year, you know, after Evo, we have a place that we can go if all the BB type players want to pull up. Uh, yeah. We can and we do in droves. You know, we even get international competition. We have Japan, Korea, Mexico all pulling up tonight. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's, it's just been a really quality tournament time after time whenever we're here in Florida. Yeah, no, it, it, like every time I've, I, I've seen this either on the stream or I've been here at CEO Taku, it's just been like the amount of competition and like the level of it has been just immense and amazing. I, I, I'm, I, I'm just always like, like just very excited. And like watching the top 16 into top 8, like we did yesterday into today, it's just been like these are these are just quality matches that I wouldn't see anywhere else. Yes, yes, you. I get to set it better myself, man. It's just like top top of the line gameplay here. Uh, but yeah, heaven's final. Oh, the Susano Jin is coming uh, out here for okay. Monkey. 
So I haven't seen Jin come out in a long while in BB Tag. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, ever since like the 1.0, 1.3 era, you know, Jin has kind of fallen from grace a bit. Now he's not like low tier. Right. He's kind of like in the mid-ish tier setting. Um, but one comp that Jin has that is just absolutely stupid is this one right here. There's just no Jin comp. Um, they support each other decently well. You know, the foundation of the team from a structural standpoint is there. But one thing they have is an unblockable setup. You're able to set up uh, Jin's slow moving 6P, the slow moving ice, right. with uh, Susano's God Press, and there's no escape. Like, okay. yeah, you just set it up, you're in the corner, and like, not only do you get hit by it, Susano does a lot of freaking damage, so you like, Kind of like just die. <laughs> right, right. It's it just it's one of those things where like you know Jin has the uh, the ice projectiles in there. Has like some extremely fast like supers that can like can come out at a moment's notice, and then, like especially with the ice car there as as well. All right, getting a little bit of damage. Get the follow up a little bit of a happy birthday on that DP. All right, yeah, push blocking that hill though. You can go straight into the punish. Jumps oh! right over her. There's no DP that can make contact with me. Monkey making quick work of that Hilda. Yeah, so far looking like the right decision in there. About new, not deterred. Gets in with the low. Catches on the low, but no conversion. All right, 6P, catch it behind the back. Yeah, as I said, we haven't even seen an unblockable cover formation because just on its on the surface, there's a very functional team. And Monkey, definitely one of the best Jin players that we have uh, within the North American setting. They are quite prominent with this character. It was one of their first mates. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. That going in. Yeah, catches on the grab in here. Susano coming in to finish the job. And that's a... a like what we received previously, like the first couple of matches in in the he in heaven's finals, where like monkey just like pouring out, just being aggressive and working, and so far up one zero. Yeah, yeah, and I think it was fully strategic on monkey's end. It was just like you know I was able to take down Alon pretty confidently with the Adachi Ruby, but he been fighting a lot of Ruby within his bracket. He's looking like that he's like really locked and loaded for that matchup, and I could just bring something different to the table, so I'm going to. You know, I know that Susano Jin is not something that is apparent within uh, Korea, Asia at all. Let's see if he's ready for this. Yeah. Already like kind of feeling like comfortable sitting out afterwards on here. But we got like all four characters on the screen at the same time here. Oh, good block on the cross under there. Monkey well aware of that defensive scenario. And just trying to lock down this new so 6 is coming out of swing and able to get the full pickup courtesy of that Jin active switch. All right, yeah, like switching out, like changing out for the Jin here. Getting a little bit of a hit there, but you're stuck in the sandwich. Side switch it, trying to make you guess on here, but the, like the impeccable blocking for Monkey 4012. Yeah, did not get mixed up until the very end of that full sequence where it didn't matter as much. You know, just make, taking the measly 2.7k. Oh, oh my that missed god! Entirely, you got into a dead zone. You're in trouble. You're in trouble. Gonna be able to find the knockdown. Or are we gonna set up shop monkey 2012? You better believe it. Unblockable. It's burst safe. But the 6P Ooh. messes up the hit stun on the new punish. Oh yeah. Yeah, get the push on there. Like new getting a little bit of a punish on there. Oh my That's god, sniping out. What do, you, what do you think this is, bro? I still control the screen. Don't call yeah, me. Yeah, no, like don't don't worry about it. I got both of you. I get you are in good hands. Oh my god, yeah, gonna not even go for it. That was genius. Knew that they couldn't kill, so just opted to get a side swap reset and knock off the gen from a full screen mix up. All right, yeah, going to switch. Like a like cheeky little grab, a good tech on that for Monkey. Oh, it was still active. I think Monkey thought that that button whiffed. Uh oh. Yeah, got the follow up in here. You were. Like, despite the fact you're in residence, you're trying to build it up there. Elon recovering just in time to make it 1-1. Oh, man. A very, I would say, lucky draw for Elon that that unblockable didn't go a different way. Because, like, the way that works is, like, um, very similar to the Carmine Yang unblockable, where you set that up, you try to burst, there is no point of burst, and then right. Jin can get the punish. But the 6P just hit odd on New's burst hitbox. That's one thing about this game, that, like, everybody's burst or incoming is a different animation. And because they have such varied hitboxes, such varied animations, some things just don't work universally. It seems like that's one situation that takes a point that Monkey can capitalize on. Normally he would be able to. Okay. Early on, getting a couple hits early on. I'm getting to switch out to the new for Elon. Oh my god, look at Elon's movement all of a sudden. Recognize when they're getting too close to the corner, it's just finding a way to immediately escape with that new. And force them into an offensive situation in the process as well. Yeah, a lot of it has been like in the favor, uh, in the favor of using you to kind of get switch up and like trying to trying to switch up where the character is just to kind of keep Monkey continuing to guess. Yeah, this is slowly but surely getting a little bit more rough. I'm not gonna lie, if Elon's gonna be able to take it at this pace, I feel like Monkey may go for the character swap because 
uh, on paper, I don't feel like this is a very good character matchup, right? Uh, Susano trying to work their way in with the support potential like, of Jin with on a string control top like this. It's not on paper great, but Monkey's not going for that. Monkey's going for the win condition. Monkey's going, uh, believing in the neutral to make it happen, but it's just so hard. Yeah, unfortunately, like, lost Jin in the process there. It still has, like, activated resonance on there, but you're still stuck in the Hilda Loop. You're going to get those pokes in, those acupuncture sessions happening here. Get the follow up, and that's it. Going two to one. Yeah, sticking a bunch of needles within you and just saving the biggest one for last, courtesy of that new. And yeah, immediately care to select here for Monkey. I have a feeling that would be the case. The question is, where are we going? I I wonder if Monkey can recall what I said the last time he was in the situation against Elon. I was really surprised that, like, M Monkey hasn't been through Batista. And I think, like, that's a team that I play. I think it can work <laughs> against Elon's style of play. But. Yeah, he hasn't showed it out. You know, I, I imagine it's something that he has to like fully been practicing, but uh, it's a team that I know they know how to play. Okay, we got the Adachi coming back here. We got Adachi Ruby, kind of bringing up what you brought up uh, at the very beginning, like uh, using that team as a counter pick here, that, like, and that worked before. Can it happen again? We'll see. I'm, I'm telling you, man, Elon. Has been playing ridiculous, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the, the the first game of the set was looking kind of rough. He immediately made an adaptation that made it look like it was not a problem at all. And now Monkey coming with the Adachi Ruby. They had a very big problem with this yesterday, but they're from an advantageous situation. The momentum is riding high. They want that Ultima final. Can they seize it? Already immediately throws characters in into the cross up in there. Gets a little bit of a clip, but actually was able to escape in there. Summing out the new. Getting caught a little bit like with the clip there. Get the follow up. Oh my gosh, full screen confirmation for 5k. Don't mind if I do. What do you do about that? All right, yeah, like kind of keeping, we're keeping the Ruby locked down until they're not. Got in with the super in there. A little bit of a chance on here afterwards in here. Switch it up. Got in. Yep, guaranteed Iron Block looking for Monkey. Trying to work their way in slowly but surely against this full screen press. Oh my god, he's so sick. Knew the Adachi was coming and just dashed through in order to not get locked down. <laughs> oh yeah. Meanwhile, going in here, Monkey, uh, trying to get a good, tries, uh, Elon tried to go for the grab and is going to pay for it dearly here. Plenty of grab, and right back at you, I got a grab too, check it out! Yeah, Elon pretty much had to burst in order to maintain their 2v2 here up against Monkey. It's more important to have two characters rather than the uh, losing one, so it'll sacrifice a little bit of hill to life, but you still have to be able to get out of the corner. Yeah, does get the, the does get a hit. It tries to confirm it with the cross combo, but no can do here. But you are stuck in the middle air, and you have all the time in the world to get that punish in. Yeah, so Alon kind of, you know, casting it for all that it's worth here. Take it to the skies. Oh my god, Monkey just went for a hard read. Yeah, just trying to go for it again. This time it works here, and like it is up to just a single new with a little bit of resonance here and a dream. Okay, yeah, gonna be going for the super resonance activation, and now the chip is going to be in play. Monkey doesn't have any bar to like super out or anything, but does have a DP. Yeah. Maybe out of meter, but I'm not out of options. Yeah, cross, uh, the, cro the cross play in here, trying to like burn it, burn down the resonance timer just a little bit here. Goes in and activates it on the reject. You still like still active, trying to go <gasps> in there. Actually gets a hit on there. Oh my gosh, this, this could Elon. happen. Do, does he got one more in him? Oh no, the big Hayashi JP will be able to seal it out. We are tied up to two. Yeah, so you were saying er, like, like earlier, like does it have it in him? Not yet. We are going all the way, just as I like my BB tag, all the way, like, like, like scramble through and through. We're going to our final game. Indeed, indeed. I thought Elon would be able to have the new solo come back so nice. He had to do it twice, but Monkey is that wall that is just you know, not a lot for L on the path through freely to get to that grand finals that he seeks. He's been doing this crack loser's run for a reason. He mm -hmm. wants to try to take the whole damn thing. I can see it in his eyes behind those glasses. I can see it behind the mask. But Monkey, looking fully determined, not gonna make this easy. He wants that grand finals of his own. Letting the intros rock here, going into the potential final, like uh, the, the actual final match for this Hell's Finals. Going in here and already getting started with a good little start from Hilda. Oh my gosh, Snipe away, does find the throw, Monkey. Oh, with the BZ on the side, just wants that lockdown. Yeah, a little bit of push guard there, kind of getting on that, but nothing much afterwards here. Get a nice touch from Ruby for Monkey. Yeah, the happy birthday pushback just made that really hard for Monkey to confirm, but there's a couple of resets in there that actually did quite a bit of damage to Hilda. Oh my gosh, had a new assist that's still active, so sniping out that Adachi from all the way back there. Yeah. Look at the movement from Elon. 
Yeah, using, like, using the new movement. Does get the clip on Adachi. Not gonna be a whole lot of damage in here. Like, at the time, we're gonna have to go force into the reset here. Oh, was still able to confirm that from a near full screen distance. Elon is, like, running away with the life lead by just little, these little measly interactions. Like, 2k here, 3k here. Oh, no, oh. that's gonna be a punish, dude! Yeah, looked like try like trying to do the switch sides in there. Oh, there! R punish right back at ya. Oh, boy. All right, all the meters spent on push blocks here for Elon. It was able to get that throw tech. Yeah, locks down. Did not get the full confirmation, though. Oh, no, coming oh. to the DP. Monkey's Ruby's going down. Yeah, like switched out in there. And like, yeah, you're stuck with the solo Adachi into instant resonance. Try to try to get in there with like a quick Zeo snipe, but no can do. Man, recall, as I've been saying time and time again, Adachi in a 2v1 game, not the oh. best. He finds the air to air out of nowhere. The hill does going down. It's Adachi versus New. Yeah, it goes in there. I like it. Like, Elon delayed it just enough to like not even worry about the Zeo dying in there at the point, but does get the clip in. Big chance here. Goes ahead, activates the, uh, like, uh, like the resonance in a safe manner. Yeah, that was the play. Didn't even go for damage. Just wanted to get that resonance. Elon has done it. 3-2 victory, headed to that Ultima Finals. The loser's run was not for nothing. I came here with the mission thousands of miles away to get the W. Yeah, and it's working. It is working. Feeling, feeling very good about that, and I, like, one, I love it's called Ultima Finals. I just realized that when I saw that the last <laughs> one. Here, we're going all the way through here. This is amazing. Yes, yes, this has just been, oh man. This has been a really freaking good top eight, dude. Yeah. This is a really good oh, tournament yeah. altogether. Just all the stories coming into play uh, to set up for this Ultima final that we're gonna have between Chop Suey and Elon. So like completely different points in which they've been able to end up here, right? Chop Suey having an extremely dominant run, running into a very, very close set that could have gone either way with an LP, but he's there. I, as I said, he's one of the favorites to be able to take this and he's in a prime position to do so. Well, look at Elon. Working for it hard, getting all of these uh, three o victories over like tough players, getting through a victory over Tech, through a victory over Scrub. Yeah, this top eight today, the only only player giving Elon trouble has been Monkey, but it can like Chop Suey kind of continue that, like actually bring it over the edge. It's just <sighs> like I am, uh, I'm excited. I'm just excited to see just the, like this play and the amount of a uh, a lot of it, a lot of it. Elon's been using those long range attacks for for the advantage here. Going to have a little bit of trouble with like dealing with that with uh, with Chop Suey, mm -hmm. like especially trying to like get in with like with some of the uh, like the air projectiles that Izayoi has. Yeah, I'm really glad you mentioned that because uh, I have talked to Chop Suey about uh, Hilda in the past based off the matches that he had to play, mm -hmm. and Chop Suey actually liked playing against Hilda. He's really? Like, yeah, I feel really confident against like Hilda. Like I'm really familiar with their tendencies. I know what counterplay that I need to do. Okay. Like he he likes the matchup. Like, it's not just like he feels confident in it. Like, he says that like, he likes it. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> dangerous. That's dangerous. Like, oh, give it to me. Give it to me. Yeah. So, like, uh, within the context of how this top eight was kind of set up here, I don't think Chop Suey thought that Elon would be his grand final's opponent. I think he was more so, like, uh, preparing for, like, a Yo Fave Scrub, right. maybe um, uh, a Monkey 4012 and something of that sort. But it ends up being Elon. So, Possibly not within the realm of possibility of what he thought could happen, but since it presented itself, I know that he's feeling confident. He's got to carry over the things that he's told me straight through here. Right. Like, what's the tagline for BB Tag? Can't escape from crossing fate! You better believe it, whether it be characters, whether it be battles of the old against the new in the case that we have here, or a battle of nations between America and Korea. Cannot escape from crossing fate, truly. Yeah, get those button check, making sure everything is ready for this Ultima Finals happening here. Like it is so early, like it's still pretty early in the morning for like I, I imagine a lot of people watching the stream right now. Thank you for, sh thank you for coming along with us. It's been a fantastic ride so far. Yeah, absolutely. I hope you've been enjoying the ride as much as me and Risky Sweet Pat because it's been a blast on this uh, commentary. I'm, honestly, I'm kind of sad it's gonna be coming to an end here shortly. I can yeah. do this all day. <laughs> yeah, just give me more. Come on. <laughs> But yes, all good things must come to an end. But in the terms of this conclusion, we need to know who will win this Ultima Final. Who will be your BB Tag CEO Talker 2023 champion between Chop Suey and Elon? Yeah. Like you said earlier, Chop Suey in a very good position to make that happen here. Um, like, just has to win, like, the, the single three set. Elon has a long road ahead. And if anything was indicating of, like, how that uh, how the, the Hell's Finals went there, like, it's just going to be back and forth all the way. Yeah. Elon's been in this position before, man. Uh, CEO 2021, when he was going up against Zero Shadow Blood, coming from the loser side, he had it just as, impre just as impressive as like a loser's run. And then uh, 
He was like on the brink of death in that set. He's like down 2-0, got the reverse sweep, and then was able to take the entire tournament. It was, you know, one of the peak BB tag moments. But right. as I said, does he have one more in him? Is he going to be able to make history repeat itself and go up against all the odds to make it happen against somebody that's been looking as dominant as Chop Suey within this bracket? All right, but here we go. It's in like both uh, both opponents in the in the air here, trying to get a, get a good feeling here. But it is Elon going to get the first hit with the new there. Oh yeah, you can expect a massive amount of hang time on both sides within the set, right? They're both going to be taking the air for multiple reasons, whether it be to match each other or to get some of their game plan started. Yeah, I love that. Like Elon early on, just establishing dominance in there, like just kind of keep trying to keep as much lockdown as possible, using the push guard, push back in here, kind of keeping down with the air to air blaze in there, and it's still like keeping control in there. Oh, 5 C is what opened up Chop Suey at a time like this. Marvelous. Go ahead, got to get, get the grab in there. On the other side, we go. Cross combo time, going to get plenty of damage. Oh, 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 oh. Like, is they only gotten that damage? It's time for TA's turn now. Oh, on, so sneaky. I already had to hit with the cross combo scenario, but just sets up the sandwich with New to get a reset. Yeah, go ahead, set up the meteorites. Approach in closer in here, but already New in the air. Into the cross combo once again, we go here. Try to go for the, 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 the counter very end, like too late. Unfortunately, the active character switch on there got an opportunity for Elon to get more damage. Oh my god, yeah, Chop Suey has just been trying to find any significant points of turnaround, any significant points of momentum, any chance to really play the game here, but nothing has been going in their favor at all. Here comes Elon taking down that is a yoink. Okay, yeah, looks like it was kind of caught jumping in there to finish it off here, and you're just up to the single TA, kind of getting a push off on there. Still has resonance activated on there, but it's unfortunately only level one. Goes ahead, he does get a does get a nice little clip on there. Has an opportunity to activate Residence here, try to build up that meter, but it's gonna be slow going. Not at this time, though. Oh, actually, just a little bit of a clip. Yeah, not quite enough to kill. Uh, Chie in the 1v2 game, she, she's capable, but not under these circumstances, right? When you're playing against like two zoning heavy characters, it wasn't even a level four residence, it was a level one residence, yes. so you're not getting as much bar. Um, and that's actually significant to note. A level one residence, that means that Chop Suey wasn't able to do any partner actions at all. He Actually, couldn't call yeah, any yeah. He couldn't do any cross combos. He was just stuck. Well, that, that was one thing. Like, Elon was taking full advantage of that in previous sets in there. Like, partner with called Sister from Alola. Oh, hold on. I got to punish for that. I'm just ready for that. Anytime Chop Suey a little bit nervous to bring that out there. So was unfortunately not able to use that ability as much as possible. Yeah. Hey, well, see if Chop Suey have a little bit of return to form here. Things are looking a little bit better. You know, able to get a hit on the Hilda. DP on the new shortly after incoming. I want that lockdown. It's my pressure, and I need it now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, definitely, definitely getting a little bit more ability there, like out, outside of that first match here. Going into the cross combo for Elon here, switching over to Hilda for the active character here. And so trying to trying to get that long range hit, but nothing for it. Just like Elon just loves that long range, doesn't, doesn't want you anywhere close. Yeah, the defensive mobility factor from Elon has been Something to behold, especially in a matchup like this, Izzy can match the momentum in an offensive manner. And just through the sheer movement speed of Hilda, has been able to narrowly avoid all these clutch scenarios. Okay, yeah, setting up on the blade here. Get the follow up, get the little bit of a clip in there, but nothing more. It's still getting a block. Get the burst out. Is a Yoi in play? Gets in with the instant overhead. All right, yeah, Chop Suey trying to make a count. Does not have enough bar to get the job done right here, right now. Finds the hit. Elon immediately go for the burst. Gets, wow, the 5A of all things. Yeah, it does get cl like, clipped with the DP. Like, it, it's a Yoi DP. It's quite odd in there, it's like, but it was able to make it work. Gets oh. it far. Tries to avoid the heal to DP, but doesn't quite get out of the way here. Going to get punished for that favor. Is Elon keeping it first safe, running away with the life? He's just a bit DP assist yet again. He messes up the combo. That could have been a free kill on Chie. There was no burst available. That might oh. be a pivotal mistake. Yeah, try to catch it up on the reset afterwards here, but you're gonna. Oh my up. God! Oh, players, both characters getting hit there. Is oh. like inactive. This is like not enough to kill. Oh. Gets over in there, switching up the cross combo. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what happened? Elon activated the cross combo in order to save his new, but I think he might have accidentally buffed it. I think so. Play. Yeah, it looked like he, like he, like the idea there was trying to get over there, had the chance for that, but unfortunately it looked like it switched back over and just got punished. Man, oh man, oh man. And that had to be a heartbreaker because he had multiple opportunities to kill off Chop's comp, but just could not quite find a routing to do so. All right, so yeah, one to one now here in this Ultima Finals here. Kind of going back in here, Chop Suey finally getting like a, like a chance on the board here. 
Okay. Yo, we're playing ping pong. Ping pong. Yeah. <laughs> Kinda going in there, forcing the burst out there, having to use that up. Chopsuki has a little bit of meter work with, unfortunately, DP could have been an opportunity to get hit, but for, like, fortunate for Chopsuki did not happen to happen. Sending out the meteors in here, but we're still playing that long range telephone game. Yeah, it's tough. DP time players have been struggling to punish uh, Chase DP for years now, nearly a decade. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's so hard, but yeah, Elon establishing that full control. Oh my god, Chopsuki oh. got the full hang time to get over not only the new assist, but the heal to DP and find a punish. That was impeccable. Yeah, not only that was close enough to get the combo afterwards into the corner, and they're caught in the low here, but now we're just playing the game. Like, gets the following. A persona activated. Goes in, gets a little, little bit of a level one charge. Gets the follow up here, but does get the clip for the reset in here, forcing the DP from Elon. Oh my god, that slow pace game that we had all of a sudden, it has been cranked up. We are full, playing full steam ahead. Even Elon is trying to go a little bit more on the offensive. Or are we going to fall into a sandwich? No, there was no mix up there from Elon from the uh, sandwich situation. Yeah, like I said, we're trying to make their own corner with like on a good push and like like Hilda in the favor using uh, like using dive kick to get out of the way here. Unfortunately, put themselves in the corner and chops. So we got a got a chance here. Oh, yep, cross raid will be enough to do it, so the hill goes down. Here comes Elon's new staple character, flagship character. I'm named after this character. We'll be able to chip down quite a bit with the level 4 residents of the Chie. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, no, that was so smart. Yeah, already in the air. Tried to go for it, but got clipped by new here, and we're back in here. Still has plenty of residents to work with here, and gets the clip here, and we could be going into a second round. No, just goes ahead, activates on the, on the blaze. Goes in there closer. Oh man, locked on the instant overhead here from Chop Suey. All of Chop Suey's residence game has been spent from the defensive end. Finally finding a DP on the tail end of it. Can't get the whip punish on the jump in. Yeah, push guard on the way back here. Now we're playing air to air and it is in Chop Suey's favor. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if Izzyoi can kill here. Bang, bang, boom, that Ooh, might be it. Yeah, that yep. is it. We're going into a distortion finish and we're up 2-1. Oh my gosh, clutch stuff, Elon almost able to bring it back with yet another solo new comeback, but just still slightly short. Chop Suey, one game away from taking Ultimate Finals, one game away from taking CEO Taku 2023. Can it be done? And like, like so far, looking like in those scramble situations, was able to get in. Elon was definitely being able to like, like stop a lot of the things like coming in with GA. We saw that with the like the meteors, like definitely like using the like trying to use the meteors to get on the other side, get a combo. It's like Elon knows that shooting down with the new, like shooting from the sky, using that Nintendo Zapper, if you will. Right. Okay. Yeah, Elon. Finding an immediate hit on that GA, trying to keep things in motion here, trying not to let go of the steering wheel. Yeah, kill the DP goes super high and was able to able to get connection on that. Get the follow up, and now right now like a little bit more stable, a little bit more comfortable for new to be in. Okay, yeah, making this house situation. Getting some chops to the far, getting opened up by the tail end of it. You can see Elon trying to hard bait a burst. Chops does not fall for it. Yeah, like good hold from Chop Suey on that. Baits out the burst this time though, and it's gonna be like GA going to get that massive amount of damage. Yeah, amazing here from Elon. A solid life lead, but we saw a kind of similar equation within the last set. You know, Elon had that solid life lead, was really able to take pace, and Chop Suey just kind of got in once. And then we kind of have their way. And here it comes yet again, they stop that meteor. We are in there. Yeah, smart decision from Chop Suey to use the uh, use the meteor, go into the cross combo and get like 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 get the mix up afterwards here. Or right back into that one more time. Does get a little bit of a hit in there, but got like the push away there. Oh, gets opened up overhead. This actually should be it. If Elon's able to stabilize the combo, it seems like that is the case. Doesn't even need to spend meter for it. So is he coming up here for chop? Yeah. Still like stuck away. You're having to deal with the solo Hilda trying to get above that DP, but the partner assist comes in and makes it a full combo. Right. Yep, residence activation it doesn't mean you're escaping this mix play. It just gives me more time to set up. And yeah, there's oh, the DP. Yeah, yeah, too far away for that DP to have any effect, and it's all new all the time right now. Just goes ahead and finishes off. We're up two new. Oh man, yeah, Elon on a mission. You know, just all all, all of their sets have been um, the consistency in their style of play being able to be showcased and like how locked in they're looking has yeah. been bar none. Chops they want this. You know, also looking locked in as well, but like, man, reset point, tournament point, I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, I, you know, that that's why we're here. We're gonna find out together on this. This is exciting. We're gonna go right into it. Can't escape from crossing fate. All right, and 
Like instant in there, like got the long range cross combo. Just gonna play a little bit of ping pong with Chopsu here. There it is. Ooh, okay, yeah, just uh, it comes to a low, but it's 2 3 There's no escape. Chie comes in, uh, just purely out of block stun. Chopsu is tired of blocking. <laughs> yep, uh, I guess so. Yeah, it goes in, catches with the low in here, and now, like, Chie yeah, blocks out the burst in here, and we are gonna look at a little bit more of a combo here. Charges up to a oh, level no! two. Oh That could have been a ton of damage in Chopsu's favor, but then dropped the full combo. Find that happy birthday, carrying over to the corner. Four bars built. Can't get yeah. much for it, though. Yeah. Goes ahead, activates cross combo. Want trying to keep up this pressure. Goes down in there using the the, the partner assist with the projectiles from that. Goes Look down the in there. Crowd getting the excited. Elon! Not getting opened up by a singular thing. That yeah. bull-like pressure of Chie that chops to implement time and time again. There's so many players are so victim to. Elon just completely impervious to it, invulnerable to it. Yeah, You're not out of the weeds yet. Yeah, force the burst out of there. He's trying to switch on the other side. Chop he has plenty of meat to work with. Goes ahead and uses three of that to get on there and brings down the Hilda. It's up to just, it is just to a solo no now. Oh, that could be it. I think Chop has it. done it. Go stop. Oh, no, it on there, never mind. What's we're, happening? We're still going in there, trying to keep that distance in there. Trying to go in, reach out. Residence activated here. Goes in with oh, the super ring at that one. What is happening? Oh, brings what? down GA. Oh, and there it is! A Ooh. complete scramble fest that happened in those closing seconds. But Chopsui is able to get the 3-2 victory. And that's one of those things that could have gone anywhere. Like activating the residents into the instant super. Got rid of one of the characters. And you can see the reaction. <laughs> Everyone just super excited for Chopsui to win this. Oh man. <laughs> it's been a long time coming for Chopsui, man. This is one of NA's best kept secrets really kind of making their debut within the offline scene in the post-pandemic setting and the post-rollback setting, but they've been grinding in the trenches of the BB Tag Netplay dimension for this moment right here, right now. Yeah, that, oh. that was that was one of those things where, like, we said it early on, this Chop Suey's in a great position to take it all in, and sure enough, on the winner side of things, was actually made, oh, I managed to turn out it in the end of the scramble, and what a set! It was so good. I just truly had no way it was going to go. The scrambles at the end of that grand finals was blowing my mind. But Chop was able to do it. As I said, one of the favorites to win it, but I couldn't imagine it was going to be in a way quite like that. That was a fire yeah, grand no, finals. There was a brief moment where it's like, oh, Elon has this. Mm -hmm. and like, and, or, 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 or Chop Suey has this at this point. And like, there was just a slight pause. That slight is like, like, it, like, like just just to block it and then suddenly we're back at it and it's anything's possible like yeah. that could have gone either way instantly absolutely man this this bb tag game it's just it's the game I that keeps on giving love bb tag my, my sentiments exactly i love this game as well you know <laughs> it's just yeah. like I, I love seeing it being played on uh the stage like this i love seeing it being represented uh within uh majors and i, I love seeing everybody pull up and just like give it all that they got still for this game that's like i said earlier a legacy title yeah yeah like definitely everyone like coming like coming out and like showing like the, the wide variety of characters we had for both top 16 and top a kind of bring it out just like a wide style it's still alive it's still very much alive you mm -hmm. can still find games online you've run you've run some things with plus frames you've uh like and like there are ways to go out there and go check it out for yourself if you are interested oh yeah absolutely as we were saying earlier you know look out for it on steam and ps and the game tends to go on sale quite often and you can get not only just like the base game but like all the dlc as well uh, oh, yeah. for a pretty like fair price if you're on the lookout for it so um yeah there's still an obviously an active player base this is one of like the bigger games here yeah. <laughs> i think it had like around like 80 entrants or so and like it's just going to continue to be that way as like i know that there are more international players that want to come out. There was yeah. some more Japanese players that were going to come out to this. Um, I think uh, Yasurugi Cabbages um, wanted to come out, and then there was also talks of uh, Surume coming out as well. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, just it didn't work out for whatever reason. But yeah. Um, yeah, just be on the lookout. This may not be like the last of like international competition that could come out to one of these things, especially if I have anything to do yeah. with it. If I have, if <laughs> yeah, I have sure. to fundraise another player, I might do it. You yeah, know? Please, please cosplay <laughs> all the characters you want to make it happen. Please make it happen. So... Oh, man, but that was, uh, man, quite quite a top eight there. I hope you've been enjoying the show so far here at CEO Taku 2023 as we get into Saturday here. We're trying to get everything set up for the top eight as we go along. You know, trying to, trying to you know, hurt all the players into, like, the, into the area to get that calling out, so. Yeah, absolutely. CEO Taku has been a blast this weekend. This is just one of many tournaments, by the way. Like, mm -hmm. be sure to be tuning in all weekend long for everything that's coming up. I mean, uh... 
any anime game that you can imagine. Even some non-anime titles in there, like Street Fighter Six, Mortal Kombat One, have been super hyped to watch. Oh, yeah. I've been catching some of those matches on the side. This has been a quality event. I like, came to my first one last year, and I'm. You know, they, they got a customer out of me. I'll be coming, like, every year. Oh, hosted. yeah. I yeah. love seeing anime games on display like this. Yeah, likewise. Like, last year was my first CEO. Taku was able to come out and, like, really enjoy it. And I just see, like, the love for, like, BB Tag especially on yeah. this. Like, you know, clearly everyone that's, like, they're super into the game. They love it, and they love the community. Like, every, like I said it I said it during Top 16. During the during pre, prior to, we didn't have a pool stream. But mm -hmm. everyone, like, there were, like, four cameras set up down a row out there, like, trying to get as many matches as we can just to record it just for other people to see it. And, and that's amazing to see. Yeah. Yep. I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. Case in point, definitely uh, look to your community leaders, BB yeah. Tag community, because uh, although the pools were unstreamed, that does not mean that they were uncaptured. There's mm -hmm. a myriad of recordings on like capture cards and everything like Rescue Soup set. So I'm sure those are going to be uploaded over the next coming days. There were some. <laughs> Pools was crazy, man. Oh, this entire yeah. tournament has been insane. So many big names that have made top eights previous weren't within the top sixteen setting at all. Like yeah, or like or in the loser set side of things, where it was mm -hmm. like oh, like they're they're going to make it on the winner side. It's like a bunch of surprises, a bunch of upsets. It's a it's a story in of itself. Yeah. Yes, yes, but Chop Suey is the one that came out on top. I'm happy for him, man. Like he's like I said, super nice guy. I'm glad he was able to finally get it done. Uh, let's see him get crowned and everybody else get their medals right here, right now for the award ceremony. Yeah, you hear the community come together. You hear like you didn't even need to have a microphone to hear the chop, the chop chant that was happening. They were just like palpable. So yeah, I, I think Chop was kind of in a little period of disbelief here, and it's finally all starting to sink in. I saw him holding the trophy, but his hands were shaking a little bit. Oh yeah, I was just no. like man, I really did it, huh? <laughs> like oh man, beautiful stuff. Beautiful yeah, no, stuff. like like I said, like just amazing team, like like really nice guy, just like like just super happy for for uh, Chop in this in this scenario. So. Definitely, yeah, and this will be interesting to see how BB Tag wages on into the future as there's more BB Tag to be played. Uh, but for now, there's more games to be played here at CEO Talk, and I hope you uh, view all of it here within this stream. I had a wonderful time commentating here with Risky Sweep. It has been a pleasure, my man. Yeah, Kraken Atkins, it is always a pleasure. Hope to do more with you, so. Indeed, indeed. But in the meantime, yeah, you got, I believe, Mortal Kombat happening next. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>